Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, good time zone to all of you. Hello, hello, hello. Let me say hi to everybody first. Uh, sorry for the little bit of a uh, weird start, but <laughs> we're getting started now. Uh, hi, Yoeshu. I'm glad to see you're so excited as well. Hi, Eiko. Congrats on first. Hi, Darksec. Hi, Ursico. Hi, Meadow. Hi, Whoopi. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, you Miss Print. It's... Um, not Mega Man today, I'm sorry. The title is <laughs> in the title as well as the game category. Hiya, hiya, double first to Echo. Yes, you got it twice. Well done, well done. Hiya, Zoink Noise. Hi, Wax. Hi, Umbekin. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Lee. I'm doing well. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Go Wait. Hi, Wolf. Hi, 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 hi. Hi, you, Ruby. Hi, Slip Slop. Hi, Kite. Hi, hi, wa. Hi, 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 hi. Hi, Gamer Boy. Hi, Captain. Hi, Dracobatic. Hi, Hopsity. Please get some better jokes. <laughs> um, hi, Epion. Hi, Wiper. Hi, Moro. Hi, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Epion, thank you so much for the resub. Let's go. Seven months. Please enjoy the emotes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi, you, More Life. Hi, Yokai. Hi, Shark Vega. Hi, Star Fox. Hi, 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 hi. Hi, you, Nep. Hi, hi, hi. new cute hoodie. Thank you, thank you. I found it. If you look for, um, VTuber uh, hoodies, uh, like spiral hoodie, you can find it. <laughs> Didn't make this one myself. Good morning, Wolf. Hi, 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 hi. I'm sorry, Hopsity. Um, it's a bad joke and you should feel ashamed about it. <laughs> now our dear Pyre Max even also breeds fire. Yes, you know it. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Zach. Hi, Bert. Hi, Blaze Gong. Are you a sea dragon today? That's right. That's right. <laughs> I hope you all had a good weekend. Um, I'm a little sleepy, but I am doing mostly okay. Oh, Wax, thank you so much for the reason. Wait, wait, wait. A whole year? Let's go. Finally made it to a year. It's been so fun hanging with you in the bus, playing all sorts of games. Here's to the fun we have in the future. Thank you so much. Please enjoy the emotes. Oh my god, a whole year. Let's go. Brave little fans named Misashi. I have heard good things about that one, but I hear it's a little bit um expensive as well. Um... Thank you for writing my request. Of course, of course. It was nice to see her uh, two days ago. She seems very sweet. <laughs> Spent the night drinking and killing ants. Oh, I hope the ants are dead. I hope it went well. <laughs> thank you so much, Rex. Thank you, thank you. And hi, Ray. Thank you for the bone. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Is it? Oh, I'm old. I'm, I'm not sure if price has anything to do with age. It's, it's more to do with the second-hand market being a mess. <laughs> uh, hi, Mintoki. Hi, 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 hi. Um, hi, uh, hello, I landed a job after not having any luck for a year. I got a chill, chill job at the garden. <gasps> Congrats, I hope you have a really good time. Gardening job sounds really nice. Unfortunately, I have like hay fever. And since my mom has been like dragging me out to like touch grass every day, my hay fever has been so much better than it has been in previous years. Uh, so much worse, I mean, than it has been in previous years. My eyes are so itchy. <laughs> I'm excited for today's stream. If I remember correctly, Spy was the first PS1 game I played. Let's go! Can we mention my joint from Bond Disc? Yeah, it was expensive. And it wasn't even... Ex it was still a third of the price as most of them go for because it was like in a broken box, no manual disc only. <laughs> Sold to only Italy and I had to specially request that they um, send it to Japan. <laughs> Which is also how I picked it up for a cheaper price because clearly no... Um, Americans were able to snatch it up because they had their um, listing set to Italy only. Yep. <laughs> That's how I managed to get it. You got a $300 reimbursement? Hell yeah! Congrats, Hopsty! You got a new jacket? Nice, nice, nice. Can't grow anything. Try going to the cherry blossom tree once, but the fungi grew over the seed. Oh no! To be fair, if you're gonna like try to grow something, an entire tree is one of the harder things you can throw from like a seed. Like most people start with a sapling. So which version of Spyro? PS1. The PS1 version. You look lovely. Thank you, thank you. Hey, Luminous. Hi, hi, hey. I hope the disc plays. I mean, I started it, so... Uh, I It's like all well locked and loaded. If we get any issues in the middle of it, we'll have to wait and see. Um, I'm pretty sure I had this game as a kid, but I couldn't find it back. I think... I might have, like, lent it out to somebody at some point, and they never returned it to me. But either way, I got a new disc and... Uh, but that is why we're playing the PAL version instead of the US version today. Yeah, me and Mandabana are having a good time. Uh, she's great, she's great. Uh -huh. Oh, and body back. thank you for the bone tick, thank you. But yeah, so today we're gonna do some spiraling. <laughs> that happened to me with spiral too. Ah, oh, that sucks. Ninan, konbanwa, thank you for the bone tick, thank you. Buen sera, good to be in our stream. Hiya, peak, hi, hi, hi. We're spiraling again today, indeed. Time to bless some sheep. 
One of the voice will be different. That's a good question. To be fair, like, I don't think, especially in this era, that they were doing, like, double dubs for a lot of games. I think Ape Escape is kind of unique in that aspect. Let me take a sip of my drink, though, because I think it's partly the hay fever, but I'm kind of stuffy. <laughs> One second. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, the remake was honestly not half bad, in my opinion. I have played the remake as well, uh, but we're playing the OG. And I've beat Spyro 3 because I lent it to my cousin and never got it back. No! I hate when it happens. You know, the worst is I don't even remember who I lent it to. You know, it has happened to me before. Oh, hi, Yasuno. Thank you for the bone. I've been wanting to play Spyro because my only exploring was Skylight. Oh, I should play the original ones. They're much more fun. <laughs> you are awful sheep potsters. Lobbying good Spyro and Pickets. That's hilarious. I love old game commercial. Cute one, Thank you, thank you. And hiya, gamer boy. Hiya, hi. I take allergy meds every morning. Yeah, I get them every night, but... Ah, but I'm... It also doesn't help that, like, my mom keeps the window open all day. So, like, all the pollen blow into my window. <laughs> and now they're indoors as well. <laughs> um, So, I... My eyes are kind of itchy, unfortunately, as well. Ball version is still good. Was adapted pretty well. Mm -hmm. uh, wait, do you mean there are differences in the voice acting? Hi, Mew Mew. Hi, hi, hi. And hi, Tanush. Mimic was what Kidney Tough was Spyro looked like. Exactly, exactly. It does definitely feel like that. Uh, after keeping video. Oh, I hope you have a good uh, rest of the night. Please enjoy lurking if you need to. Are you aware of the pirating stuff for Spyro 3? Not at all. <laughs> Even with the window net screen on? Wait, now I am lost what we're talking about. Never played the second game, but I have the game for everything. PS1, PS2, PS4, but still have not played it. Ah, the second game is a lot of fun as well. I totally recommend it. I kind of hope Spyro gets some more games later and since Crash has gotten more games. You know, honestly, after they did the Reignited trilogy, I kind of thought we were gonna get another game. But the problem with, like, getting other Spyro games is that... A lot of the later Spyro games are not very good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Crash took a long break, but like Spyro went through a bit of, bit of a dark era there. <laughs> that was Halloween? No, no, no. We're playing Spyro today. Uh, uh, some of the characters won't speak English. Ah, that's interesting. That's interesting. Hi, Azul. Hi, Isman. So, you cried or fallen asleep? No worries. Sleep tight and have sleep on your dreams if you want to. I'll guide your dreams. <laughs> three was the best. Uh, three is the one with the eggs, right? I can't never remember if it was like Ripto's Revenge or year, like the egg one. It's like number three. I always get mixed up. Me like Skylanders? Yeah. <laughs> egg was three. Yeah, yeah, I love the egg one. Though I was really bad at skateboarding. <laughs> and you know like those egg thieves? Man. I think as a kid there were some egg thieves I just never caught. <laughs> <laughs> you have the dragons, the egg one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really did like that one. I like that one a lot. He went to Skylanders and developed a meta addiction. <laughs> um, I never actually played the Legend of the Spiral games. Um, I hear they were like a little bit worse than the original ones, but I, I'd have to play them to like really know for sure. <laughs> the Skylander games kind of disappointed me though. <laughs> um, but yeah. Ah, uh, lazy power adaptation usually includes you slowing the game down. Yeah. You know, the thing is, as a kid, I didn't even know that was an issue. Like, there are some games I made my mom bring with me uh, that are power editions, so we might actually bump into that sooner or later. Uh, because I wouldn't have known better, honestly. <laughs> I'm going to lurk, but have fun playing them. Thank you, thank you. Please have a good lurk. And hi, Black Metal. Hi, hey. A new beginning was playable. That's... Not the biggest of compliments. <laughs> Speedrunners can beat Spyro 3 in like 4 minutes. A friend taught me how. Ah, there must be like a big skip at the beginning then. <laughs> Would have been better if it wasn't a Spyro game. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, the remake was honestly pretty decent. Uh, I tried the remakes and it's kind of like what Ruby said earlier. It kind of... The visuals are very much how you remember the visuals being, which is kind of interesting. I think I remember one of the uh, GBA games. Ah. I've heard mixed things about the Game Boy games. Mostly that the one that's like a crossover with Crash Bandicoot is really bad. <laughs> and that's about all I know about them. A friend of mine actually play Rest of the Remake. Hell yeah! Nice, nice, nice. Oh, and Jake, thank you for the follow. Welcome in, welcome in. 
But like I heard that like some of the other GBA games are actually quite fun. Uh, all things considered. Crash Purple and Crash uh, Orange. Yeah, those ones. <laughs> I have heard mostly just bad things about them. <laughs> so I hope uh, the other ones are better overall. <laughs> uh, one second, I'm adjusting my hoodie. There we go. <laughs> Mm -hmm. He also helped us uh, crash four. Nice, nice, nice. The Seas of Ice and Flames were the ones I heard good things of. Yeah, I think I watched like a friend of mine play a little of those. But I don't remember much about them. Uh, one day, I'd maybe try to like, like to try playing some of the Spyro uh, Game Boy games as well. <laughs> they seem interesting enough. But yeah, let us go over the gaming screen for now. Do do. Ta -da! We've made it! <laughs> so, today we spiral. Spiral down to the abyss. <laughs> now, I'm quite excited. Uh, I quite liked spiral when I was a kid, so um, I hope it will go well today. <laughs> yeah, play me OG, of course. Hey, Adam. Hi, hi, hi. So, let's make ourselves a save file. There we go. New game. I'm gonna turn up the sound a little bit on my end. How is it on you guys? Can you hear it properly? <laughs> my fave spirals. <laughs> my fave cereals. <laughs> okay. Okay, rolling. Oh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds, or is it six? <laughs> For a dragon's age. We now have 12,000 treasure, mm. or is it... 12,000 treasure? That's pretty good. What about this Ganasty Ganorf character? Now I understand he's found a magic spell to turn Nort. gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. <laughs> Nasty Nort is a I love the dragons. Bedlock. He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, no threat. Ugly! That ugly! Does it. <laughs> Oh. Looks like I got some things to do. Uh oh. He's rather nasty. <laughs> Lost the sparks heaven? Thank you. <laughs> totally skip leg day. Okay. We've rescued Nestor. Don't worry, he's fine. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world. Then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm nasty going after Nork. him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. Okay. Spell still connected nerdy emoji. And it's great. I love it. <laughs> God, isn't he so cute? I love OG Spyro. He's adorable. Voice seem a bit quiet. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think... We can specifically turn the voices off. I can like... I don't think the voices are included in sound effects. Like I... I, I saw you guys, it's an old game. There's only so much I can do about turning the voices off. <laughs> like at the best I can turn the entire game up. But uh... That's, that's all I can do. <laughs> Damn you, limited options menu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like how the remake had them talking to see this through the TV? Mm -hmm. I mean, I think that's what's implied, you know? They're watching an interview after all. Like, you see the uh, microphone and they're talking to the guy. <laughs> the speedrun cut cord to reach the first thank you for releasing me, Nine. I mean, that would, like, be a fraction of a second. That wouldn't be much of a category. <laughs> um, You could turn the game up, music, and sound down. That That's not possible. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I cannot um, turn the music and sound in the game down. That's well, that's the entire game, you guys. <laughs> that's the entire game. <laughs> I mean, I can take, turn these down, but... <laughs> and there's no separate sliding bar for the voices if I do that. Like, the voices are out of my hands. <laughs> Like, how is this? Like, um, for the game itself. Like, I can't turn it up and turn it down at the same time. <laughs> if I turn it up on OBS, that controls the entire game. Oh. Um, like, there's... The, the, the OBS cannot magically make the voices louder. <laughs> I'm afraid. So 
Because it has fallen out of activation, you could still do so much more. Need the whole game or self-topic. <laughs> Turn it sideways. Okay, I'll flip the screen sideways. One one second. Uh, give me a moment. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, how is this? Uh, does this help? Did this help you guys? <laughs> <laughs> um, I have I have played. Um, can you hear much better now? Perfect, perfect. Okay, okay. <laughs> can we try one eighty upside down? Sounds louder. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll play it upside down. I, if that helps with um with the sound, let's let's do it like this, like this. <laughs> oh God, that's really hard to play, you guys. <laughs> Did that fix the sound issues? <laughs> I'm, I'm turning this back to right way right up. There we go. <laughs> God, it's too loud. <laughs> As for the question if I've played this game before, I have. Uh, admittedly, a long time ago, but I have played Spyro before. <laughs> New stream challenge discovered. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, we got Delbin. Here we go. Where's Nasty Nork? Oh, Nasty Nork. You. Keep your horns on, Spyro. You have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Um. His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him and see what I mean. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. <laughs> How's the voice this time, you guys? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the credit. <laughs> okay, if I recall, she can heal us better. Perfect. And now Sparks is with us. Bit loud this time. <laughs> okay, I'll turn it a li little bit down. <laughs> Not safe. It's not saved. Okay. Ah, uh, this is so nostalgic. Oh yeah, Spyro can't swim in this one yet. That's not till later. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't this look so good though? Like <laughs> it's makes me happy to see it again. <laughs> Spy on the audio slide, my favorite piece on game. <laughs> will it happen if will it, uh, help if I go upside down? <laughs> will that fix things? <laughs> they didn't really have cheat codes to spy with too, didn't it? I can't remember much. I did have like those cheat code books that you could like buy that often came with game magazines, but okay, okay. Was this game in the GameCube? Was that Spyro Tail? Uh, this is a PlayStation One game, so the GameCube didn't exist yet, <laughs> unless they re-released it down the line at some point. <laughs> but I don't think they did. This game had the Crash Bandicoot 3 demo in it, though. Hell yeah! <laughs> For kids, they maybe overdid the planning animation. I don't know. I recall like some uh, games that were a lot more graphic in the dead animation than this one. <laughs> Did Sparks really dirty describe it? Just became an accessory. Man. No patches, no max detection, no logins. Yeah, just the dragon living in the moment. Honestly, this is like one of my, my comfort games. Like it's just like a comfy thing to play, you know? <laughs> like it's nice to go back to and like see the the open world and Walk around and run around. Like, this was like one that I. Was it a cousin? Like, I think Cousin Twice Removed, like, Extended Family is like the first place I played it somewhere. Oh. But it's just so nice. Don't be just a nasty Nork. <laughs> but you know, the PS1 Golf game had a pilot of support in it. I did not know. Legally or illegally? <laughs> Welcome back, Gamer Boy. And hi, you bacon pancake. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> and hi, Evan Joey. I only had the PS1 uh, trilogy. Mm -hmm. I mostly played the third game. Um, because the second game... Well, at some point, I think a friend just stole it after I, you know, lent it to them. This isn't the remake? No, no, no. We're playing PS1 tonight, baby. <laughs> the remake is a lot shinier. Though, to be fair, I think it still holds up. <laughs> have I played the game before? I have, I have. It's gonna take me a little while to get used to it again, though. Oh, oh. There we go. <laughs> it was really fun watching Guild Flowers. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. It was really fun playing it for the first time. I want to play again. <laughs> there we go. There we go. 
Uh, there we go. This is... I forgot which button was the camera. Because this is once again, we're in PS1 area. Back when camera technology was wild and free. And every game had a different camera button. <laughs> Played at the dentist's office when I was small. Oh my god, I love when places still just had games in them. It was a legal filler data. Okay, hey, okay. Spyro, press the jump button twice to glide. And, and don't be afraid. Afraid? Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks? Plummeting <laughs> into prehistoric glaciers? Oh, that. Mm -hmm. Hey, Pimit. Hey, hey. That's a little look down in Flame Flap when you're right on the edge, right? Let me show it off. See, isn't that so cute? The game is so much charm. I knew exactly the way you were talking about, Ruby. <laughs> we're still hearing about people who stand to such video games. Yeah, mine never had any. <laughs> Best filler data, though. Indeed, indeed. For there was Ratchet Clank, there was Spyro the Dragon. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> I miss OG Spyro. OG Spyro the best. <laughs> I never had video games with my dentist. No, we had Where's Wally. <laughs> if you had lo were lucky, you had the Where's Wally books. As well as... Wait, is this like a Dutch dentist office thing? Because like... um, Ours always had like Where's Wally on the ceiling. So like when you were laying down and you had to like kind of just look up for like 20 minutes or whatever... Um, you like, you could search Wally on the ceiling. <laughs> they usually had like a big poster or something. Japanese version was a VMU like lighting. Ah, with mini games, that's so cute. <laughs> hey, you one. Hey, you snake. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> I'm not playing the HD remake. I'm not. I'm not. Hi, hi, hi. hi. Yeah, Waldo Podo. Where's Waldo? Oh, it's Waldo in the States. It's Wally in the Netherlands. <laughs> Yeah, well, <laughs> mm -hmm. like I think it depending on the country, it's like either Waldo or Wally. Yeah, he's got Wally in Europe. Mm -hmm. Hey, Corby, hi, hi. <laughs> yeah, it's Genix. It is. It is. <laughs> it's known as a pocket station. I see. I see. In Germany, it's Walter. Where's Walter? Walter, we need to cook. <laughs> Are you blue tiger? Hi, hi, hi. Man, there's so many stages we can go. Like, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, I'm just really enjoying this area. <laughs> We're gonna do some exploring first, probably. <laughs> Waldo? Wally? Walter? What's he not telling us? Same reason he's hiding. He's in the a witness protection program. <laughs> Huge fan of how this game looks. Same. Walter owes me 10 books. <laughs> he's a spy. Same guy have 10 names. Spy. Oh. I need to like stop walking off edges. <laughs> In the stage, we more so had video games to try out at McDonald's. Ah, that would have been so sweet. For me, it was mostly like uh, games on the ferry. Um, whenever we take the ferry to go to like the UK or whatever. Um, oh. Either on the ferry or in like the uh, harbor. <laughs> Those are uh, aliases. <laughs> hey, and night hi, sandwich. Hi, hey. You can set it to active. Oh. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Oh, active camera. Thank you, thank you. See how that goes? Me and Karma San Diego, they skip country. We have the country together. I <laughs> shift them. Hi, Kutao. Hi, hi, hi. Oh. I mean, that helps a little bit. That does help a little bit. Uh, like I said, it's just gonna take a second to get used to it again. It's a way to stay alive after using all your health, but certain mechanics will be unavailable until you reset the level or console. Um, is that the one, like, where you can, like, infinitely fly? Uh, I know there's, like, an infinite fly or swim mode, but I'm not sure if that's in this game yet. Oh. Stop overshooting it. Oh, oh, oh. Not that one? Yeah, a lot of people giving bonuses once, you thought as well. I mean, you always have to make sure you give it before you forget. <laughs> mm hmm. Uh, also in the States Pizza Hut, that's special where they gave you demo disc. Let's go! Yeah, swim flying is not this one yet. That's the sequel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There we go. Got it. <laughs> is it worth it? For the two gems? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. It's really worth it. <laughs> okay. 
Now the question is, which stage do we want to do first? Like, honestly, even just the overworld, I find really nice to just walk around in. But I will, you know, for the sake of all of you guys, um, actually play levels too. <laughs> Collected a few of those damages from monsters yet a PS1. Nice, nice, nice. As a promotion pizza advice, they would literally just give you a whole DVD for free. Oh, that reminds me of like uh, gas stations. Like gas stations, I feel would frequently have like not for free, but like cheap or like you know a discount if you like bought it together with other stuff. I uh, gave out digital collectible discs. Ooh. So like where the digital collectibles also demo discs is that how it works because i'm not quite sure i i get it here we go murder <laughs> always 100 to help code if i could do yeah exactly exactly Bang is good i collected one percent of the gems got me insane corners as it should as it should <laughs> i actually got 100 percent of the gems still back in the day it took a while but it's completely possible <laughs> They look just like them. They do, they do. Oh, wait. Uh, I thought you meant the <laughs> no, <laughs> enemy, sorry. Um, they look like demo discs, but were they demo discs? Or were they just like... Oh, they're digital. I see, I see. So they're not actually demo discs. Even as a kid, I love the free stuff. I mean, who doesn't? Do you ever stop liking free stuff, you know? I don't think anybody stops liking free stuff. <laughs> Getting a chance to try out with those waves on a demo disc. I mean, out of the PS1 demo disc, I think I, we still have them at home if I, like, ever looked them up, decided to take them with me. Uh, on Spire 3, you could actually, if you had a certain copy of the game, you could put in a cheat code when you entered the Crash Bandicoot demos. Oh, so you could get debug modes? Nice. What kind of good stuff could you get, though? <laughs> what were you not meant to see? Yeah, you do need to collect everything to access the special state. Mm -hmm. Okay. I did get everything on here. Just double checking. Uh, P Stars is broken on the mobile app. Ah. Honestly, mobile apps are usually too much of a bother for me. <laughs> so I haven't actually used any before. <laughs> you could actually get into the entire game. Wait, all of Crash Bandicoot? Wait, that's sweet. Like, the, all of it? Damn. Hi, Leo does. Hi, hi, hi. So they just casually put the whole game on there. You know, that's like happened with other demo discs before. I have heard of that. Like, if you just manage to crack it. <laughs> okay. Cool flash. Do that again. The artisan's boss is through a portal in the dragon mouth. But you are not yet ready, Spyro. No. First, you must complete one of the other artisan lands. <laughs> we are not ready to enter the dragon. <laughs> Let's make sure we safe though. Crash 3 it happened as well. I think it was an airplay demo. Ah. Except they were uh, got to see Bart Simpson and Homer Simpson. <laughs> I see, I see. Man, it's amazing when they just have the space to put an entire second game <laughs> on there. No only reason you don't play it is because they just try to lock it up. Nice sweater. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, and ahoy! You know, Crash 3 actually had a demo of this game on it. Mm -hmm. Somebody mentioned that earlier, yeah? There's Geometric Club you can do to enter early, but it's super technical. Yeah, I've watched speed ones of this game before, and this is pretty cool. The kind of stuff that, like, people manage to pull off. But I am not anywhere near the te technical. <laughs> Could see Activision considered to cross Crash and Spyro over together after remakes. What with them including Spyro's and Crash Team Nightfall Racing? I mean, I feel like, um... You're forgetting the forbidden knowledge, which is that um, Crash and Spyro already crossed over <laughs> in some of the worst Game Boy games of all time. <laughs> you know, um, some people might rather forget, but it did already happen. <laughs> hi, Abian. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> Remember played this in Digimon game on PS1 when I was a small child? For some reason, PS1 stopped working. Oh, no. I hope you, like, manage to get, like, a PS1 that does work at some point. Not that doesn't seem to be in the best of friends. Mm -hmm. I had Spiral Ice. How was it? Did you enjoy it? 
The Spiral Series was actually one of the games I never got around to playing, even though I really wanted to. You should make a point to play them someday, they're really fun. I did not make this on C, no, no, no. If you um, Google Spiral VTuber Asset, I downloaded it this time. <laughs> Another very talented person made it. <laughs> and I thought it was very cute, so I figured I'd use it. Uh, I think I was stuck. Oh no! Hey, Swoggy, hi, Jordan, hi, hi. If you 100% the Japanese version, you will be able to switch it the way that you're playing it instead of top down. You mean the Japanese version doesn't allow you to play it from behind? Oh, okay, there's the final one. I knew you were missing like one more gems on the set of gems on the overworld. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty easy to get a hold of. That's because a lot of people bought them back in the day, so it shouldn't be too bad. Here we go. Ta da! Wait. No! We're missing two more gems! <laughs> Where are they? <laughs> yeah, I do have freckles everywhere. Mm -hmm. Hey, Glitch, hi, hi, hey. I have an official spiral plush. Nice. I really know about spirals that you can clip to the walls. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not really sure, but I know the US version of spiral if you want to present it. I see, I see. Hmm. Wait, where did I miss a gem? Probably kept somebody alive or something. Who did I keep alive out here? Hmm. Check behind those towers. The ones we were just now? Okay, okay, okay. I'll go back. Yes, sea suck is called the dragons and saying deadness. Yeah. Um, the sea dragon. Actually. No, there's like several Sea Dragon VTubers. I think it's like one of the more popular slugs for people uh, to use for VTuber inspiration. And a complication, uh, compilation card. Ooh. Did you enjoy it? Okay. Uh, I've gone behind the towers, but I don't think it is behind the tower. <laughs> the anti piracy thing was funny. What was the anti piracy thing? I've never seen it. Good excuse to finally get the slim version. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Hmm. Hold on. I think it's like an enemy I might have missed. That might have... Oh, the one I'm missing. It's getting late for me. I have a national chase. Sleep tight, sleep tight. Those sweet bunny dreams. Hmm. I'm just annoyed that, like, <laughs> I'm missing two gems on the overworlds. <laughs> oh, Blue Man uh, stopped you? I see, I see. <laughs> you know, honestly, that makes sense. <laughs> Does he just, like, never let you buy stuff? Or, like, ask too much or something? Because that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> huh. You know, I'm sure we'll find the gems later, but this is gonna drive me crazy. This will drive me nuts till the end of my days. Where? <laughs> he tells you it's pirated. Ah. He has a beach. Oh. Like a special beach you only see if you like... Oh, I have to pirate a copy? I am being driven off the wall. Like, I know there's two more gems. And <laughs> I got sloppy and I didn't pick them up. Where were they? <laughs> <laughs> we'll come back for them later. Oh, that's that one button. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me check the manual. Mm -hmm. Button for that. It doesn't mention a button for that in the manual, unless it's a secret button. <laughs> secret is taking a gem maybe on that balloon beach. <laughs> well, if the balloon beach is like secret, then you can't go there unless you have like a secret, like, pirated game that's probably not there. <laughs> yeah, they did get remastered. Mm -hmm. um, they mostly remastered like HD graphic updates. Um, it's, it's minor change from what I recall. 
It's Pyro 3 that has a funny piracy thing. I see, I see. The last ones are probably on the dock. Wait, where is the dock again? Wait, could we get to the dock yet? Or was that after the mouth opens up? Hmm. Hmm? Maybe that's for later. So the what what for stone pose of secrets? Mm hmm. There we go. I'll try sleeping soon, but I also am checked. A couple of your teams are still off. Oh, I'll have to re-enable those. Press the shoulder buttons. Those make me wall into the water. <laughs> Hiya, Punisher. Hi, hi, hi. Um, those are mostly just for camera and, and rolling into the water. <laughs> <laughs> I tried L and R3 as well, but uh, I don't think that's it. It was clicking the left joystick. That's not doing anything. That's not doing anything. So I think we should just go into a level or something. Yeah, they need order input, but I don't know what it is yet. Like, did they depress? One second. Oh. It's <laughs> yeah, they don't necessarily give you a hint on how to do those yet. You can probably see the game start to play properly and then you and then take away eggs and stuff. Ah, for the piracy thing? I see, I see. Yeah, I don't remember our gem locator. I'm just kind of trusting you guys on that. But <laughs> it doesn't mention it in the manual, so I'm not quite sure. Unless I did find all the gems. <laughs> Then I can find yet. And that's why it's not showing me. That one should step on the night guns down the top. Or it's not accessible yet. Might not be inaccessible yet. Okay. Here we go. When we do a smog side spy. Okay. <laughs> I should kill some sheep. Well done. Uh oh. Sheep cannot kill me. I said I kill the sheep. I feel bad for the sheep. I do like sheep. You know? When I first saw all the sheep murder when I was a kid, I was like, oh, I feel a little bad. But, alas, you know, Sparks has to eat. <laughs> You're in a time machine today? Uh, it's okay. I think most people here are older than the game. <laughs> well, maybe a couple are younger. <laughs> The hero still was pretty uh, fun. I played it on uh, Xbox as a kid. Wait, which one's a hero still? I don't think I've played that one. Was that a Spyro too? We've never figured dragonflies. To be fair, like, dragonflies are like... Surprisingly carnivorous, right? If I recall. Because like, I think dragonflies will like, eat meat. I might be crazy. And I might be making this up. But in my brain, I remember... Hearing somewhere that dragonflies eat meat. <laughs> so it isn't outrageous to me that they might like eat butterflies too. <laughs> oh, you were thinking of the beach on this level. I was about to say, I have no idea what that beach would have been. <laughs> I just thought you guys were <laughs> remembering it better than me. Those little fast things, the egg thieves. I was so bad at getting those. Just know they like to hang in humid areas. Now I remember like, back when I was a kid, like, the dragonflies never scared me because they were like big and cute and you could like kind of grab them and like, you know, let them land on your finger and take them with you and stuff and like they wouldn't really care. And then like one day, like my teacher scolded me and was like, dragonflies will bite you. And now I'm suddenly wondering, or like sting you, and now I'm suddenly wondering like, wait, did my teacher lie to me to stop me from like holding the dragonflies? <laughs> was that a lie? Wait, dragonflies can hurt you, right? <laughs> There still was one of the multi-platform ones. Okay, okay. Okay, they do bite, but they... It's like a little ant bite. Okay, okay. <laughs> They're not hazardous, but do they hurt you? That, like, does it sting at the very least? Because, like, my teacher was like, that it's gonna hurt you. And I'm like, but they, the dragonfly. <laughs> they actually are the only fast taking part of the entire game. Mm. Now, the third game, that is. I don't believe they're in this one yet. 
Have a bite with a chance of attacking you. Super you. Yeah, 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 exactly. Maybe the, the teacher probably was trying to stop me from grabbing dragonflies and showing them to the other students. <laughs> Joanna would have found the gem located by now. Joanna is very busy getting her next scoop. <laughs> yeah, it's probably that I could have hurt him by accident. Mm. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. I would never run into trouble. That's right. <laughs> I got so much oppressed. <laughs> How dare they stop me from catching dragonflies? <laughs> I was gentle with them though. I was very gentle with them. I just thought they were cool. <laughs> and they were kind of slow compared to other insects. <laughs> I'm gonna swap to my bed, sleep tight, and see any dreams. <laughs> okay. Then let's go this way. Yeah, if you're gentle with them, they won't harm. Mm -hmm. I was always very gentle. I just kind of liked having them on my finger. <laughs> and then I could show them off to my friends. <laughs> oh, Biddy, thank you for the hydrate. One second. <laughs> my next one's from the dark dungeon. She's actually found under your house next to <laughs> No, no, no. Joanna's fine. She's fine. After I could come out of hiding, she, she, she went to find another scope. <laughs> You know, nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Here's Aster. After you freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. <laughs> It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya. <laughs> you know, I really like that all the dragons do have their own voice lines and stuff. Because it gives it so much extra charm, you know? <laughs> it's really nice. Nice spy outfit. Thank you, thank you. How about these big ancient wise dragons fight this war instead of surviving baby in his bed? I mean, the thing is, they're old and tired and their back hurts. <laughs> this is a, a young dragon's kind of situation, you know? Me and my brother wanna present this game together as a kid. Hell yeah! Such a fun game. Using Dingamajiko was like... People still use Dingamajiko, right? <laughs> I, I still use Dingamajiko. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy seeing this again, it's so fun. Yeah, the voice of person. <laughs> look, look, look. Tingamajig is a normal word of everybody's vocabulary. <laughs> at, at, that that young young people definitely use Tingamajig. See, see, I'm not alone. I'm not alone. <laughs> Time to kill some wizards. Oh. There we go. So I was nimble enough to dodge uh now she's crystallized back. That's true, the peacekeepers cannot do that. Okay, grandma. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gosh darn it. <laughs> I I'm I'm hip. I'm I'm still with it. <laughs> remember trying to play this late at night after bedtime all night? Oh, man, I remember like trying to like oh like, I will admit, like, I played this... Oh. I played the third game the most out of all of them, because I really liked the egg. Like, I don't know what it is. As a kid, like, I always just really liked games that had egg in them. Like, Chow Garden and Spyro the Dragon, because there's something about... Egg. And then Creature comes out of it. <laughs> you know, Yoshi, yeah! Yoshi's story and so on, because, like, the thing is... Yeah, exactly, exactly, because it's like... I think it's the Tamagotchi instinct. <laughs> As a kid, I was very into Tamagotchi and like pet simulation <laughs> games and stuff. <laughs> you know, Neopets plays into that too. Uh, and so on. Hi, Neoru. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> so, like, egg is it's just the way it is. <laughs> yeah, Spyro gets Spyro cozy. Spyro is so cozy. Oh, oh, oh. Spyro dying. Joe was there in the first Costco of the episode where I'm those are still 150, right? <laughs> I've actually never been to a Costco. I know like the hot dogs are like supposedly have always been the same price though. Just egg, exactly, just egg. Eggs are tasty, that's right. Like, no, 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 don't eat the egg, don't. How dare you trick me, Punisher. The egg is not for eating, it has the baby inside. <laughs> Therefore hatching and having cute Tamagotchi creatures. 
There's still 150, and it's 150 with a drink. Ooh, it's a hot dog combo. I see, I see. Donkey Kong roller coaster ride begins that's run over at the Nintendo World. Ooh, any reviews from the chat? Or no humans on the chat? There's a side scroller spiral game in the GBA I really like, but I couldn't compare it to the uh, PS1 games. That's fair, that's fair. I heard some of the GBA ones was fun. Might have liked Monster Ranger? I did like Monster Ranger. I played it. I was bad at it. But I did play it. You bet. For the longest glide, press the X button at the top of a jump. And try pressing the triangle button to drop down in mid-flight. Here we go. No humans yet. We're just testing it out. Okay, okay. No, as it goes like with Costco, because like... I'm just one slug. <laughs> So it doesn't seem worth it to be buying in bulk. <laughs> I don't have a car to be buying in bulk. I don't have a lot of fridge space to be buying in bulk. I only ever cook for one. <laughs> so like, it doesn't seem worth it to like buy an entire like Costco membership. <laughs> Boss, 99 bones. Let's go. Nearly at the 100. Let's go. Another mistreated one. Yeah, I love the old Spyros. Um, but yeah, that's why I don't have a Costco membership. One time, one day I'd like to go, because apparently the food court is really nice still. But I'd have to, like, find a friend who has a membership and, like, leech off it. <laughs> or something like that. Because as it is, it doesn't seem worth it. There we go. Oh, no, the water! The beach. No, the water! The beach. Okay, okay. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. And that's the secret gems we were talking about earlier. Oh, no, 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 don't go, no, 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 Spyro, don't go home. I didn't get all the treasures, Spyro, no. We gotta go back. <laughs> we gotta go back. <laughs> He's your little baby. God damn it, Spyro. <laughs> we must return. I'm sorry, you guys. We haven't looked at this whole stage yet. <laughs> okay, okay. That's the look. I haven't had the GBA in a while. Mm -hmm. You got the 100% this game. I mean, I might wind up doing so inadvertently. <laughs> because I, I really like this game. <laughs> and just wandering around it is really fun. And it's like one of those games where it feels wrong to leave the gems behind. <laughs> but if we ever hit like a spot that's like particularly annoying, like maybe I won't 100% this. We'll just have to wait and see. I remember working at the Costco food court for a time. It was chaos. One school day scary celebrations. Oh, I bet. Like a lot of people probably go, right? Hey, Diet One. Hi, hi, hi. Okay, okay. Then let's go back this way. I mean, I think we got most of the gems, but we didn't get all of them. Most vitally. How do I feel about the flying stages? Um, I remember they would usually take me a couple of tries. But it's also been a while, so I'll have to see if, like, maybe I've glossed over <laughs> how they were. They weren't, generally speaking, my favorites, but... Um... I recall them being okay. Yeah, we can get up the upper wall. We were there earlier. And then I dropped down to the beach. <laughs> Maybe it made me nostalgic to go to later. Mm. Okay. There we go. Now we're back on the wall. <laughs> it's a good option for clothes. I just don't have placing rooms. Oh, I didn't even know they had clothes. Well, he got the end boy. Besides the free membership. I mean, at least you got a free membership. <laughs> Hi, hey, Abinu. Hi, hey, hi. Hey. It's pretty easy to get 100%, and as a result, 120%. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's an active too. I did hear him go, na, 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 na. <laughs> okay, just making sure I'm not missing any gems. Man, the surroundings here are so nice. There we go. Take that with me. There he is. Guys, do you see him? Here we go. Got him. 
Eat the active bones, I will, I will. There he is, I hate him. Everybody hates the actives. <laughs> I understand. I killed so I hey. Oh didn't mean to walk off there. Uh, now we're gonna have to get back on the side again. Okay, Spyro is cute. Yes he is, yes he is. Hey, quack, hey, hey. Fuck the actives, all my buddies hate actives. <laughs> <laughs> okay Let's go back up Here we go Okay, okay, okay Just gonna take a look around It's more so simple like single hot box of pizza slice But sometimes what it was like asking 5 pizzas 25 hot dogs That's a lot of hot dogs But I guess if you go with like a whole group of friends with your 25 friends, you might eat 25 hot dogs. <laughs> What's the point of the eggs? I don't actually remember. But you know it's a collectible, you gotta get them. <laughs> hey, Luca, hey, hey. Jeez, Louise. <laughs> 25 hot dogs each? You know, I'm not sure what the limit on the reasonable amount of hot dogs is. But 25 each is beyond that limit. <laughs> When the remake for PS1 Trilogy came out, and also really happy with the result. Mm -hmm. Now, compared to like other remakes, I think that it's mostly fine with the Spyro one. No Spyro, but I didn't enjoy the sequel, so just want to play normally as Spyro. I feel you, I feel you. Yeah, it should have been in PlayStation All-Stars. Like, Spyro is the classic All-Star. <laughs> but I guess he's not necessarily Sony. Oh, Daily Bone, thank you for Ultra Gunner. <laughs> well, I'm miss mixing it up one second. I would love to have 25 hot dogs. Okay. So what is for you guys? The cutoff. Like if you are watching somebody buy hot dogs. Where's the point where you go like. That's too many hot dogs. Like for me it's like you know. One hot dog fine. Two hot dogs. That's pretty reasonable. Like you know. Three hot dogs. I'm like okay. This guy must be really hungry. It's getting quite a lot for a single person. Four? Yeah, I think mine is around four or five. <laughs> like four or more is probably like... I think you might be eating too many hot dogs in one go. <laughs> yeah, if it's a, only for them. If it's only for them. <laughs> for one person. <laughs> I don't think there's a cut off. I mean, obviously you have the freedom to buy and eat as many hot dogs as you want. But I probably will go like... Four hot dogs is a lot of hot dogs. <laughs> Five? That's probably too many. <laughs> we'll answer 79. <laughs> Three raises eyebrows, but there's no one person who needs four hot dogs. Yeah, I think that's right. I think that's right. <laughs> Just walk around with a lot of stuff. Um, let's say it's like hot dog in a bun and you have like sauces and stuff on it. <laughs> It is 5 and 6 gigs ordering F1 3 hot dogs. <laughs> Do you mean done hot dog ready to eat or just hot dog meat? No, I mean like hot dog in the bun. Like <laughs> the, the whole shebang. You went to the shop and you ordered the hot dog. It's ready to go. You've got ketchup or mustard on it or whatever. Oh, it's by Glizzy. Glizzy is what they call it in like Australia or something, right? What do you guys put on your hot dogs? I'm kind of boring. I'm mostly just like. Ketchup or cheese. <laughs> not nothing too exciting. And I was let go because my speed wasn't up to it. Ah, oh, that's a shame. But you got some memberships out of it. Hi, Jimmy. Like, hi, hi, hi. Are the three all start having opinions? <laughs> yeah, I think it's like around four or five where I'm like, all the whole dogs you're eating there. <laughs> Americans have adopted the term. I see, I see. It's without the bun, then the number zooms up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're talking with the bun, with the bun. Ketchup and cheese? Mm -mm. Just sausage, cheese and uh, ketchup? Yeah, I'm kind of boring. <laughs> you know, it can be nice with other things, but m a lot of the time, in both the Netherlands and Japan, I don't have like much more exciting options either, so... <laughs> more than how much one guy can carry without looking silly, that's also a fair assessment, that's also fair. Uh, any not a formal stage or exclusive game if you remember the surface? Can I release the game Pac-Man's Mega Tunnel Battle? I don't think I know that one, but that kind of reminds me of like that one time, uh, Eggman got like a very exclusive like GameCube game that had like multiplayer that like basically never released anywhere. 
uh, or like release very like briefly no pickles i don't really like pickles <laughs> sorry you can have my pickles <laughs> can blame australians for glissies wait who did the glissy then <laughs> you gotta have cake frosting on the hot dog you do not have cake frosting on the hot dog <laughs> that that's not allowed <laughs> fried onions pickles and ketchup uh, i see i see i see I mean, like I said, I'm like on the boring side when it comes to my hot dogs. With uh, 7-Eleven taco sauce. I mean, if you like the sauce, then you get that sauce. <laughs> Just cheese and ketchup sauce. <laughs> Look, some people take the hot dog with nothing on it. <laughs> you know, um, some people don't even put the ketchup on there. They only have the sausage. <laughs> and nothing else. So they don't even have the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I know the Pac-Man game you're talking about in GameCube. Yeah, like I kind of wanted to play it at some point, but I remember never actually seeing it anywhere. Uh, Pac-Man World is pretty fun. Mm -hmm. I do want to try it. That's like the platformer one, right? I just like uh, do ketchup and mustard and cheese as you try one of the audience sometimes. Sounds nice. Mm -hmm. I mean, I take the hot dog with nothing on it. See, 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 it's fine to take the hot dog with nothing on it as well. Like, a lot of the time. Like, I think it depends on the country you're in as well. Like, because most of the time I just see plain hot dogs in Japan. <laughs> hot dog without a bun? No, with, with the bun. With the bun, though. <laughs> hi, Bajango. Hi, hi, hi. So it's like a depression me. I should not be part of the... But it is, it is. That's pretty common. <laughs> you know, and then you put the ketchup on yourself. They measure how the Costco sausage weighs and it's exactly a quarter pound. Let's go. Only the hot dogs without bun or dog? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that's fine too. If you want to. <laughs> Wait, what? You don't eat the dog? Wait, what do you eat here? <laughs> what if someone does not like pickle pickles but fresh cucumbers? I mean, fresh cucumber on sandwich can be nice. I'm not sure if I'd eat with a hot dog, but you know. Uh, I prefer cucumber over pickle. <laughs> hi, Indy. Hi, you floppable. Hi, hi, hi. Thank you for the bones. <laughs> it is spiral time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you like chorizo? Uh, that's a type of sausage, right? I think. <laughs> Only a plate of sauce. Don't eat just a plate of sauce. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> chorizo is good. It's Spanish sausage. Then, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I like it. It's like the slightly spicy sausage, right? If I am getting my sausages straight, I think. Rescued Nils. Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. Hello. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the L2 and R2 buttons to get. Speaking a good of Spain, look. we are in Spain right now. This is the bull area. Just like uh, with Ape Escape, <laughs> we get to attack the bulls. It's not really spiced, but it's spiced. Okay, okay, okay. I think I've had chorizo, and I think it was nice. But tears whenever I wanted a poach croquettes. <laughs> I mean, poach croquettes is nice. It is nice. There we go. Bad bull. Bad bull. There we go. Bad bull. So we want to add some pasta for lunch and homemade tomato sauce and you got a cup and drank it? You, you can't just do... Must be some damn good tomato sauce. <laughs> that must have been some really good tomato sauce. <laughs> In that case. <laughs> do you think touch needs to be with hot box bones? Um, I can enjoy the sausage without the bread, but I do think it's not a hot dog anymore if you do it without the bread. In that case, you are just eating sausage. <laughs> you know, nothing wrong with just eating the sausage, but it's not a hot dog anymore. <laughs> So, no, uh, just that way, yeah, I can enjoy both. It's perfectly fine. <laughs> it's just uh, a differing of the terms. Go. Ancient place, look. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Oh boy. You, you don't know the fire. You, you can awaken people with that one sometimes. That's a fiery, fiery debate. 
I mean, I guess if you say that thing in the bread is a sandwich, yes, but I don't think a hot dog is a sandwich. Because the, the, the bread touches each other. So it can't be a sandwich. I feel like a sandwich needs to be two slices of bread, not just one. So I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> well, because orange just doesn't have the same taste without the bun. Mm -hmm. They know exactly what they're doing. Oh, it is a fiery, fiery debate once that gets started. It really is. Sausage factories are meat cookies. I, you, you are treading dangerous ground. Oh, I know it's hot dogs are food that tastes. You never need to eat the dog. Yeah, yeah. If it's one load of bread wrapped, yeah, because it's just one bread and that doesn't count. That's a hot dog is a a, a wrap. No, 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 no. It's the, I, a hot dog is just a hot dog. It's 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 not a sandwich. It's not. <laughs> like the bet regarding fries. Yeah. Hi, you're in the pool. Thank you for the follow. Is it frites or is it patates? <laughs> well, my hot take is the patat is when it's the, the, the big fry and the frites is when it's the thin fry. <laughs> Welcome to Town Square. Shrek bless. Mm -hmm. Actually, New Yorks will cash you out if you ask them about the hot dog sandwich to base. It's the real shit. Oh, what do the New Yorkers say? Because I don't think it is a sandwich. Do no New Yorkers think it is one? <laughs> Pizza has an open face ravioli. <laughs> It's not. <laughs> Thanks, Spyro. <laughs> I had the worst itch on the tip of my wing. Oh, did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing X at the very top of your jump? Ah, uh, the other guy already told me that. <laughs> <laughs> no, cereal is not soup. Because I think soup cannot be that sweet. <laughs> In my opinion. New York's only no, it's not a sandwich, it's almost low. Okay, okay, just making sure. <laughs> well, pack of hot dog uh, Costo jokes to take home, but according to company policy, I can't take it. Oh, that actually reminds me. Um, one time. So, you guys, um, in Japan, at the 7-Eleven, you have Nikuman. And that's basically like, you know, um, what do you call them in English? It's like the, the meats in the, the dumpling, the big one. Huh? Somebody can give me the English, like the meat buns. Um, but basically, they also have pizza man, which is basically the same. It's also a meat bun, except uh, it has like a more pizza-ish flavor. Um, and it's good, it's good. I prefer it over the regular ones because it has like more of a... The main difference it has, it is like it has like cheese and like more of a tomato-y, meaty sauce in it. Uh, we call those hot pockets. Are you sure? Because they do, do... Wait, I'm googling Hot Pocket because I always thought Hot Pocket was like something different. Have I had like a bad image of Hot Pocket this whole time? No, 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 no. It's not a Hot Pocket. Hot Pockets look crispy. That It is not a Hot Pocket. It's not a Hot Pocket. Because <laughs> I was about to say that... I'm, I'm going to show you guys what a Pizza Man look like. <laughs> uh, I should not have googled that in English. That just gives me... a. Uh, a pizza man, like a dre like dressed as a pizza. Um, no, uh, it's a lot more fluffy. It's a lot more fluffy. Oh, I'm gonna show you guys a picture. <laughs> yeah, they're they're more they're not beef rats. <laughs> yeah, like this, like this. Um, yeah, they're like dumplings. They're like dumplings. Um, they're basically like regular dumplings, but these are like more pizza. -y. So like here, you can see them uh, next to a regular. A uh, meat dumpling. I'll pull one up. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this. That looks dry. No, no, no. Um, they're actually quite moist. It depends on where you get them. Like the Seven Eleven. Like it's often like has a lot of condensation. So like my hands wind up getting wet. <laughs> yeah, it's like papao for all the Dutch people. It's basically papao. It's not ravioli. <laughs> hi, Sneo. Hi, hi, hi. The pizza one looks weird. Yeah. In this picture, it does. But trust me, the, the pizza ones are really tasty. <laughs> um, but basically, uh, I like getting them. I like getting them. Like, I think uh, the original ones are, like, Chinese. Like, they, I think they are, are from China. Um, but they're really popular uh, at, like, the Combini. Um, and they are basically just, like... Uh, 
regular meat dumplings, but just with a different flavoring inside. Uh, so, yeah, here you can see a picture from them uh, with the regular ones. Yeah, it's like Bao. Yeah, it's like a Nikoman and a Pizza Man. Mm -mm -mm. We call them Bao. Mm -mm -mm. In Dutch, we call them Bapao. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> These are like mini Hot Pockets. But Hot Pockets, I looked at a picture of the Hot Pockets and those look like kind of crispy. These are really soft. These are really soft. <laughs> so, basically why I mentioned it is because uh, one of you mentioned that like uh, you couldn't take the Costco hot dogs home. Well, basically in the 7-Eleven they sell these, right? And they always have them behind the display. And one time in the frozen, uh, not frozen, like the refrigerated section, I saw them. And I was like, oh, they have like three of them in one pack. Sweet. Then I can like make them at home, you know? Um, like it's probably for the microwave and like I brought them up to the counter and they like Looked at me and looked at each other and they were so concerned and they were like mm -hmm. And I was like wait, what's the big problem? And they were like, okay, I guess we can sell them to you And then they took them all out of the bag and just like handed me the whole pizza box <laughs> And I just afterwards I realized that those were probably where they were storing the ones that they were preparing in the kitchen But they weren't like really for sale they just kind of had them like tucked away at the bottom of the refrigerated section <laughs> um but like now i just had like three unpackaged like wall pizza ones, so they wouldn't last very long i was like wait but but the instructions were on the package i don't know how long to heat them up now <laughs> so that's how i i carried my my wall pizza man's home i guess yeah they shouldn't have sold me those <laughs> Yeah, they probably should have been labeled as not for sale instead. They were very kind and like deciding to still give them to me, but they probably shouldn't have. <laughs> yeah, I guess she knows what she's doing. <laughs> Did you see a man dressed in blue running around here? He's a thief and he's a thief. stolen a dragon egg. You've got to track him down and, and get that egg. Run! Run! <laughs> I'm getting a little winded. <laughs> At least they were nice. They were very nice. They were very nice. Um, I guess they assumed they knew what I was doing. Like, I seemed very confident about wanting to buy the pizza man, I guess. But... <laughs> You're concerned, man. Why are you buying wall pizza man? Like, we haven't prepared these yet. I was... <laughs> like, I just assumed they were from the microwave or something. Like, a lot of the things in the refrigerated section are... <laughs> Matt Egan had too many hot dogs, yeah, that's what you sound like when you had too many. Had a certain look in my eye. <laughs> team frites or team patates? I mean, I think it depends on what you're in the mood for, no? Because some days you want the frites, some days you want the patates, but like when you go to a snack bar, that's when you want the patates, right? But like when you go to McDonald's, you want the frites. <laughs> but when you're at home, like sometimes I like to slice them thin, you know? <laughs> oh, thank you for the hydrate, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Seven level will sometimes give me free food. They're gonna toss too. Ah, oh, nice! Hell yeah! Oh, Jade, nice shit. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Welcome in. Okay. Uh, I need to figure out how I get onto one of those ledges again. If I were going, just like jump on from somewhere. Here we go. Did we already get the active? Not yet. Not yet. I'm trying to remember from where. I get to him. Even though getting free to asking for protection mod is also valid. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'm pretty sure if you go to McDonald's and you ask Patachi Mat, they will give you <laughs> exactly what you want. <laughs> donut places will fire uh, employees will give away unsold donuts. It's a great shame. Aww. Oh no, meow with him. Oh, is it still off? I forgot to turn it back on then. Hold on. <laughs> Uh, I'll re-enable it. I sometimes turn off like the slightly more disruptive redeems when I'm doing like collabs. Uh, let me turn it back on. Ooh. There we go. Should all be re-enabled. <laughs> Probably steam for 10 minutes. Probably something like that, yeah? Hey, okay, well, man. Thank you for the bone. Let me give you meow. Or oh, like dragon bone. My war? Wow. <laughs> 
<laughs> My food stream, including spy, well, indeed. Uh, where did I fly from again? I mean, this is returning home. No, it's because I hadn't been able to chat. You're fine, you're fine. Nice, thank you for the bone. Thank you, thank you. I think it's like I jump at like one of these at an angle. If I recall. Maybe? I forget. Yeah. I think actually maybe we have to re enter the level? Oh, wait, no, no, no. Can I get up there on the side here? One second. Oh, hi, thank you for the volunteer. Thank, thank you. Yeah, jumping and turning. I think that's it. It's like jumping and turning off to the left here. Okay, okay. Here we go. From here, I think. Hey, Tigressa. Hey, hey. And hey, Bojango. Got it, got it, okay. okay Here we have ourselves Be active Well, let's get the gems first <laughs> You might be chasing him for a second, so Okay Make sure we take all of these There we go Active is like who knows where at this point. Oh right, this is like the first one we have to like jump and chase. Oh boy. Go. Where is he? He's like way up ahead. I think at this point. I don't see even see him anymore. Unless he jumped down. He might have jumped down actually. Now I think of it. Okay, let's get these first. Have you played the pretty old 3D box bunny game? I didn't, I didn't. Is it any good? Like, it always seems like a mix-up with the licensed games, but some of them are pretty decent. Uh-huh. Here we go. Let me... Oh, catch up a little bit. There we go. Limburg from North Holland, is there any differences? Oh, yeah, like, uh... In Limburg, like, there's, like, very specific accents still. Mm hmm Help me like that? Hell yeah! <laughs> Though I understand what you mean, <laughs> that doesn't necessarily reflect on the quality. <laughs> Hi, Yuminski. Thank Hi. you for releasing me! Okay. Nice, nice. Nice, nice. Got that one. Okay, Thor, the God of Thunder. Yeah, he's a little afraid these days. <laughs> he's not as thunderous anymore. Dragon of a few, few words. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think. Oh! Alas, I woke myself off the edge. <laughs> we did get all gems. We did get all gems, though. Which is good. Uh, just need to get myself. Catch myself an egg thief. Okay. Box Bunny lost in time. I feel I've heard that name before. Yeah, he's back up there again. Where's the hint? He should be put back in the crystal. I mean, to be fair, this level already had three people just said like, Did you know gliding? You know, at this point, we know gliding. <laughs> I feel. We, we are quite aware of the glides. <laughs> Here we go, got the egg. Now we finished the level. Yuna! Follow I got the Uh, poor uh, Spyro dealing with all those rescues alone. He didn't ask for this. It's fine. He's cool and, and young and ready to rescue eggs. <laughs> Break so and so. Thanks for the chat. It was really fun to make spend time. Thank you for coming. I hope the rest of your day goes well. Jump, jump, like kind <laughs> on game. <laughs> yeah, that's all. I mean, sometimes all you just gotta do is thank people for releasing you. <laughs> How many eggs are in the game? Only the late ones are very challenging. Yeah. Honestly, across all the spiral games, the egg thieves I recall giving me most trouble, honestly. <laughs> there we go. Well, you can't just tell people to ignore work. <laughs> people, people gotta do their work too. 
that. No, you can walk. It's very useful for throwing yourself off the map. It is very useful for throwing myself off the map, but still. And this guy. He's not dropping me any gems anymore. We are missing like two gems on the overworld. It does it is driving me crazy. <laughs> I just don't know which ones. Maybe they're the ones by the waterfall. <laughs> or something like that. That must be it. It has to be it. I can kill the enemies again just in case. There we go. Pretty sure I replayed the demo so often over many months. My dad actually uh, got me the game. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it's not that guy. Not that guy. I mean, mostly have just more of these fellas. I think I killed all of them already. At least once. Hmm. And what for jump on all the stones for supplies? I mean, I did do that. I thought you had to do it in a specific order. I might have done it wrong, though. Let me try again. Okay. Thank you for freeing, Swayo. Did you know you're a dragon? <laughs> oh. I'm not very good at them. One second. Go. Yeah, I feel like you have to do it in a certain order or something. Because nothing happened even after I stepped all of them. <laughs> you know that's amazing? You guys, you guys are amazing. Oh! I guess I finally got the right order this time. <laughs> hmm. Mysterious. One extra glow around. Uh, our first of the flying stages. Here we go. I don't remember what the optimal order for these is. Uh -huh. So I remember like some of these taking a bit of trial and error in terms of where best to go first. to get that? No. Oh, right, right, right. It's like the one where you want to go multiple times because there's like the barrels, the flames. Okay, okay, okay. What's the fan of them? I'm mostly neutral on them. They are gonna take me a little while to complete though. <laughs> because I only just remembered how they worked again. <laughs> Being such a pain in the ass. They definitely take some like trying <laughs> and like learning the optimized parting because I can't remember did you have to do all of them in a row it was something like that wasn't it okay and through here and then we start going for the planes Leaf. Yeah, it's everything in one go, yeah. Ooh. If I keep missing the planes, that's definitely not gonna happen. <laughs> Need to do all of them before they try out, yeah. Actually, any recently games you played uh, on your own, not on stream? I do sometimes. I played uh, the new Pikmin, um, but I haven't finished it yet. In my own time, I also play visual novels and stuff um, because they're not generally very good for playing on stream. Oh, but oh, a lot of the time I just don't have a lot of time, so in the end, I don't find play like wind up playing that much stuff outside of stream. Okay, okay. So I think what we do is this one first. I haven't touched Pikmin since the GameCube. Uh, some of the newer ones are still fun. The dragons only eat sheep. It's a good question. I'm not sure. Oh. 
I realized there's something coming for me. Could have killed them faster. Go. Play to some of Saya. Ooh. I mean, uh, it's true, it's true. Like, Twitch technically allows, like, games that are. Oh. Uh, it's just like, uh, you're supposed to not lingo on it and stuff. There's a lot of games that are permitted. Hi, Ignite. Hi, hi. Yeah, I missed the last plane, though. M once again, gonna fail. <laughs> I should probably check where the other chests are. This is probably not the, the optimal route for it. Yeah. There we go. Uh, only recently really stuck out to me. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I did my best. <laughs> Oh, right, this is where the chests are. Oh. You know, still have the chance to get them on the way back. Oh. Bye, everyone. Enjoy your days. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you for coming. <laughs> but where was that final chest? Did I miss one? Oh, on the way back. Here. Here we go. So, so the chests are probably one of the early ones you can get quite easily. Um, then we can grab a couple of these here. Oh yeah, a while ago. <laughs> it's because I uh, made our stream avatars. Um, I did uh, the pixel art as commission. So she invited me uh, during her debut. Oh. As one of our artists. Here we go. Okay. This one we can get early. Here we go. And then we can go for the cave. Oh. Okay, and then we had one by the entrance that I missed. That's okay. Go back for that one later. And there's yeah, one more here. Once again, not the fastest route, but... There we go. And through here. But well, mostly the issue is the both the barrels and the planes. Now if I can do the planes quickly enough, um, they do give you extra time. Uh -huh. It's the barrels that are spaced apart by quite a lot, but the planes of course that are tricky because they're everywhere. get the gates. Yeah, and I don't think I'm gonna get the barrels in time still. We can get these while they're here real quick. Oh. Come on. Okay. But I don't think I'm gonna get the planes again. Uh, would you like my thoughts on the barrels? Probably good to get them whenever they come by while you're fighting the planes, right? That's what I figure. How's it going? It's going well. Hi, hi, hi. Hey, hi, Panarius. Hi, hi, <laughs> so. Okay, just one more set of barrels. Now we just have to... Oh, oh! No! <laughs> I nearly had it. <laughs> so close, so close. <laughs> Hi, Yapon. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Nearly had it. Nearly, very nearly had it. <laughs> that is a sham. That is a sham. You tease me there, yeah? Okay, so this way I can at least get half of the bells done. Okay, I missed that one. Oh. Not very good on the treasure chest this time. Missed quite a couple there. Okay. Here we go. Not the only cutie here? That's right. Chat is cute too. You are correct. You are correct. Here we go. Now let's go for the gates. I think the barrels are probably best got whenever we see them. 
PlayStation 3 back in the day was the only reason I decided to get to be a 3 d uh, I hope you liked the react that one too. Hi, oh, I'm so sorry. Hi, and he too. Thank you for the follow. Fine, I am cute too. <laughs> Just like um, Spyro and Jet. <laughs> kind of game genre I would be in if I had my own game. Honestly, I'd love to be in like a visual novel or an RPG or something like that. <laughs> Those are among my favorite. Though I think a platformer would be very fun too. Like 3D Collectathon, just because that's like one, some of my favorites still. Hey, Alam Sasai, hey! <laughs> now, now, schattig zei ik niet. <laughs> oh no, the planes! No, I'm too bad at getting them. Okay. Here we go. It's a very speedy one, going straight for the chests. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Here we go. Putting me in a jigsaw game. <laughs> I mean, jigsaw puzzle game would still be fun. I'd take it, I'd take it. I'd just be happy to be in a game. <laughs> hi, Levant. Hi, hi. An animated movie? Oh, I could see it. Like, considering it's already 3D and a cartoon character. I think they could make a spiral movie work if they had the right pe people on the team. Death by drowning, yeah. Spiral cannot swim yet. Not in this one. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay. Treasure chest done. Going to the gates. Now the main issue, they are the planes. Like getting all the planes swiftly, accurately. Man, we got so close that one time. <laughs> Should I have plans to do a movie, but after watching the plant movie. Wait, also watch the plant movie? I didn't even realize they released one. I'm guessing it wasn't very good then, huh? <laughs> they did, huh? You know, and I liked Red Chicken Plat. I didn't even hear about that. <laughs> I'll just, uh, yeah, assume it was mediocre. <laughs> so Red Chicken Plat move with didn't do good. I see, I see. I did see those barrels go somewhere far away, so. Things might not turn out well for us then. It's already a whole distance off. Oh, there's more here. Good, good, good. Nice, nice. Even in the game based on the movie? <laughs> Wait, really? Which one was the game that was based on the movie? EP consumes me? Sleep tight to see funny dreams. Keep coming. Okay. No barrels. Dang it. Uh, 2016 of the Wretched Plank, funny enough. I see, I see. Okay. Let me try chasing the bells first for once. I can try it slightly different routes. Like, I don't think there's a very optimal route, but... I can try and get some of the planes early. Look back around through here. There we go, go for the chest. Hi, good for you now. Hi, hi, hi. I don't think this is very optimal, but I can... No, because on this way, I can't really go back in time for those either. <sighs> yeah, when I did chase the train spell slows you down, I think it really is just a matter of like getting the bells whenever you happen to see them. Rather than like chasing them down. You have to trace face shoot and chasing them from behind. Mm. Like going at them from the other direction. It's just that like on the opener, you see them there. So it's very tempting to go after them. Okay. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> also made the Ratchet Clank series in Spider-Man Remaster. Sounds like they had like a big... Uh, big portfolio, as they say. That missed? How? It's right on top of them. Okay. Mm. 
Yeah, I probably should have done this from the beginning. <laughs> okay. So she's one top of the raptor drowned. Yeah, he's just very hydrophobic. <laughs> there we go. No! Oh, I stumbled. That's it's gonna lose me a lot of time. My little stumble over there. Okay, Spiral can't swim. I mean, he is a dragon. You know, out of any early platforming magma mascot to be weak to water the little fire creature at the very least does make sense <laughs> you know oh i forgot you can do that i shouldn't have done that i forgot you can do that we, we probably can't do it this time <laughs> we're probably gonna have to do it again i made some errors in my ways yes, should be able to do a doggy paddle. <laughs> I mean, I still agree that, like, Spyro should be able to fly, but I think... I mean, to swim, but I think out of all the characters who could possibly not swim... I think it makes sense for Spyro not to swim. <laughs> there we go. Sleeping myself too, too much energy. <laughs> oh, I'm just happy to be you are here too, thank you. Sleep will come to you eventually, I'm sure. There we go. Yeah, EP comes when the time comes. decent amount of time going into this so let's hope I don't completely fuck up the planes and we should be fine okay flying was uh, for exploding never got them on the first tries no all the flying missions are basically trial and error like trying to find the path thing that works for it huh? like I think it's pretty rare people manage to do it first try by chance <laughs> Because for one, you have to figure out where everything is, so... Oh, oh no! No, no, no! I shouldn't have done that! <laughs> I tried to go faster! When I overflow it and then I messed it up. Yeah, it really is trying now because you figured it out. Mm -hmm. Which route will go perfectly? I got greedy, I got greedy. I mean, to be fair, you don't really need to 100% this. <laughs> like, in many ways, it is just kind of a challenge one, but... Yeah, I just... I wanted to get it. <laughs> but, you know... Uh, the ice... The greed, it was too big. Mm -hmm. Need more loop to loops. <laughs> clearly, clearly. Okay. There we go. But we were doing pretty well on this one. So it should be okay. Nice, nice. With a special final level. True, true, true. <laughs> First time actually 100% them. Hell yeah. It was fun to go through all of them again in Reignited when it came out. Kind of nostalgic to see it revisit it, though I do still prefer the originals overall. There we go. Okay, there's one more plane. But we're fine. Just gonna grab the gates. And then remaining time can be spent catching that final plane. Now I just need to not choke. Just take my time getting this guy. God. Whew. With like nearly 20 seconds left. <laughs> ah. 
I'm surprised no one thought of achievements trophies. Why well, you see? We had achievements and trophies. We called it um taking a picture with our camera of the TV screen when we got a high score. <laughs> and then developing that picture at the local uh, photo development place and then getting it developed and then two weeks later you print like pick it up and it's printed out and you send it into a game magazine. Um and then they publish it in the game magazine and it shows the whole world you got the high score. <laughs> How are you so good at getting the first try? First try. <laughs> no loop the loop. And I even had time for loop the loops. I mean, don't, to be fair, some game magazines actually wanted you to send in the memory cards if they are particularly stringent about checking for high scores. <laughs> but some of them were fine with like either. Um, Photographic or video evidence. <laughs> yeah, hoping the film was clear enough. Good old days. Take pictures of Pokemon and bring those pictures at Blockbuster. I'm so jealous. The Netherlands didn't have the the um like um, Pokemon Snap like the N64 printing boots. I always wanted those. Like they looked cool. Okay. Yeah, the Pokemon Snap boots. I wish we had those. Because I, I don't want to brag, but when I was a kid, I took some really good pictures of Mew. Like real nice, real close up. <laughs> Might I even say the perfect picture of Mew. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's nice. They do assume you'd actually want to play through it again. Also, yay, it opened up. That's where my final two gems were that you are missing that were driving me crazy. <laughs> See, in the end, I didn't miss any gems. It's just I couldn't get there yet. <laughs> Pro Mew photographer right there. Indeed, indeed. Okay. Uh, let me see. Have we done all of these? We did Stone Hills, right? I think the foot also works for Pokemon Stadium pictures. Do they? <laughs> Joe for Joanna photography contest when us oh, Joanna's a very busy lady, you know. Mistake it. Okay, okay. Uh, we've been here before. Okay, okay. Not that stage. Uh, I'd have to keep better track of where we have and have not been. Ah, uh, Pokemon Snap was the first Pokemon game I actually got excited for in ages. Hell yeah! I did enjoy new Pokemon Snap. I thought it was fun. You could snap pictures of Pokemon in stadium and use the boots to print them out. Honestly, like the first Pokemon Stadium, it kind of blew my mind because it was the first time you got to see Pokemon 3D and they had so much charm to them. It was Autumn now that. Um, I think it might have just not been sent in general um, because I'm not seeing it at all. <laughs> you might have had like a Twitch glitch or something because if it gets Autumn modded, I can still see your message. About how short the original Pokemon Snap is. Yeah, no, like when I played it, I mean, when Joanna played it the other day on stream, um, it was only like three hours, and I'll admit, uh, Joanna was rushing it a little bit because she was worried she might not finish it in one stream. Um, I could have checked on the level stats in the box. Can I check on the level stats in my boss screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay, okay. Sonia, we're missing some gems. You have to go back to Stonehill. Hold on. Here we go. Uh, what Pokemon do I use? I play on original hardware. I'm playing on the PlayStation 1. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, Goji, thank you for the bone. Thank you, thank you. I'm using an Elgato capture card. Here we go. Pokemon games are priced now to buy. They unfortunately are. They unfortunately are. <laughs> Um, if anybody's curious what I use, like, I have, like, Elgato capture card overall, and then I use, like, Hyperking cables for the PlayStation. Though I use, like, um, regular, um, like, AV converters whenever I use ball games, because those often need to be on 50 hertz. <laughs> With this skill, if I had a PC program that could run it, but my old PS1 is busted. Uh, I mean, that is a shame. That's a shame. I mean, I'm sure if you take a bit of a Google around you, I'm sure you'll find a way to play it still. 
Okay. We missed one of them in here. Probably on the edge somewhere. Will we get pizza and tacos? Honestly, I'm not sure what will be uh, after Scarlet and Violet. Because Scarlet and Violet is kind of like a callback to like red and blue because... No, Violet isn't really blue, but Scarlet is quite red and Violet is close enough. Like, it kind of makes me wonder if at some point the next one will be gold and silver based. But there's like not really... I feel like a good gold silver based word. Hmm. Watch the dragonfly Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. Like me. Uh, sure. <laughs> Pokemon tin and antimony. Pokemon copper and tin. Yeah, tin and copper. Not playing up Kanoa. Ah, Kanoa was very cheap back in the day. Yeah, Hardcore and Soul Silver are definitely some of the most expensive ones you can get these days. Say you engage in NSO, don't have most of the charm as the old hardware. Uh, since the. Oh, and you can't choose your own team in the games. Yeah, true, true, true. I kind of wish they like put the GP and GPC games out there again. Like they did on the 3DS. Like honestly don't know why they haven't made them available. Uh, a la 3DS yet, but... Alas. Pokemon Tin and Copper, third bronze game. <laughs> like with Diamond, Pearl and Platinum. I forgot where the key was. I know there's like a key in this level somewhere. And this is Pokemon emotes for me? Hell yeah! Can you break, eat them up till the break? Didn't you need a key for this one? I think you like... Use a key for this one, no? I forgot where the key is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I got. That's what I got. Here we go. You may be wrong. I feel you are wrong. They start naming Pokemon games after elements on the periodic table. I mean, maybe if they sounded cool enough. Yeah, there's a hidden key somewhere. I just forgot where. Either way, there's still like stuff here, so. Sometimes supercharge, yeah. Sheep. You know, I know they're not actually wizards, but as a kid I always thought they were wizards. But I guess they're just herding sheep. Open hydrogen and helium could be cool. <laughs> Nihondium in America. <laughs> I was taking a team from the respective houses and using them. Yeah, and they finally made it possible to transfer a uh, Pokemon from like the first and second gen over to the later gens. My heart, they are sheep monsters, as they should be. As for Pokemon Rice and Pokemon Wheat, I mean, they, they can't do Pokemon Wheat for obvious reasons. <laughs> They'd, they'd be making too many jokes with them. Uh, that would let you, let you do that. Mm -hmm. The full Pokemon stays because the rentals uh, are not that good. Yeah. And I kind of wish you could like take your own, uh, own ones into the NSO one. Also, because like the Pokemon Stadium 2 had like the mystery uh, gift, which was pretty sweet. I always like the mystery gifting. Like, for the longest time when I was a kid, I would get, like, the mystery gift every single morning. That's what it was called, right? For, like, a hundred days in a row, I think, consecutively, you had to do it. Um, to get the big lap was plushy. <laughs> never understand why we went to the house. She does not have fire blast. It's because that cherries are just allergic to flat fire. Oh, with chocolate and vanilla. Ah, that's possible, that's possible. The mystery gifts were fun. Yeah, I really like the mystery gifts. <laughs> okay. Uh, where was that key? Oh. Not here. Like, I think the key was like somewhere on... Like either... It was like in the fancy area. Like on the edge. Yeah, I could get items to decorate. Yeah. Forget hidden bases. We've had hidden bases since gold and silver, just nobody was using them. <laughs> hi, sheep. Hi, hi. Spent way too much time chasing them. I mean, to be fair, that's what they're there for. 
No special Pikachu, you could get the same one I could learn to surf. Yeah, and there's also a uh, flying Pikachu. Little blue guys. Can you imagine? Just a little blue guy. Just a little guy. <laughs> there he is. I don't believe he has my key. He has nothing now. This guy has nothing. Not even an egg anymore. So then we already killed him once. <laughs> and Pokemon were such fun. <laughs> I think it's even worse when they started to like... I'm glad they did the downloadable ones. But like I got so tired of keeping up with them. So I didn't get like a lot of them. That was crazy when I said Pikachu could learn to surf and fly. Well clearly they weren't reading the hot game magazines. Not told you about them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can use it in Pokemon Yellow in the mini game. Mm -hmm. I'm sad just looking at them. <laughs> oh, it's not here. Was there like any other secret beaches that I forgot about? Or like a tower? Like a lot of this, we cannot actually go further to the left. What was it? I have to come back for the key later, maybe. There's a cave near the beach. Wait, was it near the beach? Oh, I must have missed the cave the first time then, because we went to the beach once before. Okay, okay. Oh, oh. Might die. Might die. I do you not go bad from the team shop song while shopping at Donkey? Yay, you get used to it. <laughs> now I keep kind of just start tuning it out. Like I do often pity the employees who work at like Don Quixote or Big Camera. Big 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 camera. <laughs> um, as they say. But when you're just shopping for like not too long, you just kind of like forget about it. There we go. Yeah, I have to get into Trout Farm Pokemon here to the time code. I mean, usually they were like a little bit better than that, but... It still could have been. Like, I just got tired of keeping up with like the downloadable ones at some point. Is Skyline still a thing? Um, uh, maybe? Like, I never really did Skylanders, so I don't really know much about it. There we go. Yeah, you can start tuning things out. If you listen for it long enough, <laughs> eventually. And that one missed bit that, uh... Not tomorrow was a Celebi one, so I could get the Celebi event. Nice. Oh, and Darker Muffin, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. It's all about Amiibos now. I mean, the toys... Are they still selling billions? Because, like... Well, everything else has risen in price. I feel like Skylander toys, you can buy, like, buy 20 of them for a dollar. <laughs> because people literally can't get rid of them anymore. They used to be like very popular, but I'm not sure if they still are. I think Amiibos are still doing well. I'm not sure. I haven't kept up with those. <laughs> Spyro might get brain damage from every time I look at chat. That's too... <laughs> Constantly create new toy ports to replace the old ones. Did you know you can glide? I did. Okay. Oh, the cave here. How did I miss that the first time? <laughs> I'm silly. Okay. Because we did go to the beach once before. I got to do the Sabi event. I felt underwhelmed because Giovanni was too easy to beat. Um, I mean, to be fair, Giovanni is quite easy to beat with like one single grass Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> and you should be mostly fine. <laughs> Skylands have been dead for a long time. I think so, yeah. But even Pokemon DS was a lot of them. You still had to go to the physical store. Mm, that sucks. Here we go. That's all of them. I was like watching it like... There better be 200. <laughs> I stopped collecting amiibos, now I'm the Gunpla Digimon model kit's hold. It's the battle hold to be in. I am not biased. <laughs> not at all. 
The new Portable Skylines keeps having new features, need to play new games, force them to buy them. That kind of sucks. <laughs> That's a bit of a shame. Waiting for it to say 199. It took a really long time to go from 199 to 200. That was like holding my breath. <laughs> <laughs> because exactly like Wolfie says, like it's a nightmare to find out where the final one is <laughs> if you had like 199. <laughs> it's the absolute worst. Here we go. I only want antibodies looking pretty dope. Hell yeah. Yeah, Gunpla Gol is the good haul. <laughs> Speaking of amiibo, I kind of wish they updated the Smash amiibo so the existing ones had ultimate versions. That's fair, that's fair. Though, in a way, it's kind of nice that they have them because that would force people to, like, buy all of them again. <laughs> I think, like, in the end, it probably comes down to, like, it being a little bit costly to, like, do so many bonus ones. Alpha J. Quark is an Ali May? Yeah, it is. Um, it was, like, um, uh, a duo production between, like, what was it? Like, one of the Dutch TV um, stations and, like, the Japanese one. Um, what other animes were the Netherlands featured in? Um, what was it? Like, He's My Master had the Netherlands in it, I think. <laughs> Randomly remembering that one. Because, like, it was very iconic. Because all my friends were like, Oh my god, it has the Netherlands in it. <laughs> um, other than that, um, there's Dutch and Cowboy Bebop. Um, there's, like, the Gundam ones. Um, the Netherlands doesn't appear that much. Like, once in a while, if you watch something about this, like, yeah, Samurai Champloo. Um, like, once in a while, if you watch things about, like, old Japan, like, you know, during the time Japan shot itself from the world, the Netherlands was the only people, like, allowed to trade with Japan, so you might get, like, a couple of Dutch mentions, appearances during those. But there's not much Dutch in anime, which is why it's always very noticeable when there is. <laughs> Like, it gets, like, I remember, like, I think it was, like, Hima is my master that, like, it wasn't, like, all the Dutch conventions had, like, a lot of people talking about it and cosplaying and everything because everybody got very excited about it. Um, Dutch is, like, Dutch mentions. <laughs> but I added it, um, because it was cringe. Nah, we gotta embrace the cringe sometimes. <laughs> Best edition of the remake was a Spark Treasure Locator. Mm hmm. Wow, I see you've been busy rescuing Dragon Spyro. You may travel to the Peacekeepers world if you like. Uh, I mean, was this like the dragon mouth that opened up? Or was that like another one? There might have been like yet another one still. Wasn't the good kind? Oh, Oh no, it's this one. But I don't think this one... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Toasty. <laughs> Before we leave. Uh, let me save. At least you guys get mentioned. Most Hogarian men are yelling just random flags. Hey, at least you guys get flags. You know what happens when I think there's a Dutch flag? It's French. <laughs> or, you know, sometimes, you know, Americans like their wet, white, and blue, and they wind up Putting stripes that are just the Dutch flags, and it's like you, you, you guys realize you're putting up a Dutch flag over there. <laughs> but yeah, no Dutch. There's not many Dutch mentioned anime unless you go like, you know, old era Japan back when the Dutch were still doing trade. <laughs> like I feel like Germans are more common, yeah. Like, even outside of anime, like, it's pretty rare to see the Netherlands. Uh, or, like, Dutch characters. And, like, when they have them, they never have, like, a proper Dutch accent. They wind up having, like, a random German accent, usually. <laughs> because they couldn't find, like, a Dutch actor, I guess. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, the smaller countries, uh, exactly. I think Belgium gets a few more mentions because um, the the story of the do dog, like Pastiche, Past Pastoche, Pastouche, Pas I forget his name. There's like a very famous Belgian fable that's like practically more popular in Japan than it is in Belgium itself. Um, and because that one gets a lot of attention, 
Belgium gets like slightly more mentions than the Netherlands does. <laughs> Here we go. Did you never seen Australian anime character? I feel like I've seen Australians. But now I'm not sure anymore because I haven't kept an eye out. <laughs> hi, Jim Lovis. Hi, hi. German is definitely one of the popular ones. Like, I feel German is like... You know when you have like the... You know, token... Like, blonde, half Japanese, half foreign girl. Like, they're often like either... Half American, half French or half German. Sometimes half Russian. <laughs> But I feel like that's the four go-to countries. <laughs> Here we go. It's an Australian Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Ah, well, there you go, there you go. If it has a boomerang, it's Australian. <laughs> Nasty oh yeah, half British is there too. Previous henchman in charge of the artisan world. Bring them on. I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. This boss has many tricks up boss. his sleeve. I'll be honest, sir, no, for a second there. I forgot Britain existed. <laughs> Must be from season three. Mm -hmm. Did you guys hear it? Did you hear it? What happened when I... <laughs> I hit the block pause with the fire. <laughs> it's just the sheep on stilts. <laughs> God, I love this boss. He's having revenge for, <laughs> for all the sheep we've killed. <laughs> Best boss in the game. <laughs> I bow as half English. That makes sense because like detectives. Huh? I feel a lot of detectives wind up being... British in homage, or half British in homage to uh, Detective Sherlock. <laughs> so that makes a lot of sense, that makes a lot of sense. Aren't we all just sheeps on stilts? Perhaps. <laughs> when we really truly think about it. <laughs> this sheep is having none of <laughs> I mean, it's a fast sheep. I'm just gonna kill these wolf first. I need their gems anyway. Here we go. Mine should be just as complex for a while, but I feel like if we're talking on like international fame, I think that Sherlock like wins out in terms of it. <laughs> there we go. Right. 89? What did I miss? I'm a cap group con, so that might be true. You might be a sheep on stilts. Yeah, it's one fast stilt and sheep. <laughs> Get like some chests here. It's way better than Holmes. And that is fair. But Holmes definitely has more international fame between the two of them. Was Perot Belgian? Actually, now you mention it. Was Perot Belgian? Yeah, I think he is. That's right, you guys. How dare you <laughs> give him to the French? <laughs> it's a Belgian guy. <laughs> Belgians in check. Talk, call him out. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, that's right. <laughs> hi, A4, hi, hi, hi. There we go. Now we have a hundred. Now we're good. And it's killer mustache. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I'll save again. Sure thing, sure thing. Okay. I'm getting drowsy again. Time for luck. Sleep, sleep tight. I've seen bunny dreams. Thank you for coming. Probably because he has the French accents. Which is fair, which is fair. Sure you won't go insane trying to 100%? There's a chance I'll give up eventually. <laughs> but not yet. Not yet. Are you gonna buy with all the jams? Sheep. Four. Consumption. <laughs> you don't need to know what I'm gonna do with all those gems. <laughs> and so if I was beers and chocolate, those are chill. That's true, that's true. But you guys do have really good fries, beers and chocolates, so... <laughs> it works out. I don't think anybody should be insulting those. 
the focal point stage percentage here is uh, 120% because you have got the bonus level. That's right, that's right. But I did do the bonus level, I did do it. Yeah, it's not a particularly hard 100%, it's just like I might get lost or really annoyed trying to find the one missing gem, which is like where it might end at some point. <laughs> <laughs> the 100% one, but for so far, I'll do my best at least. Yeah, I don't buy anything. I'm Dragon Knight. Horton. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> also, comics. Yeah, speaking of comics... Um... Suske and Whiske. Also, you know, they're not quite detectives. But they do solve a mystery now and then. <laughs> I read a lot of Suske and Whiske growing up, and I'm sorry, this alienates everybody who's not Dutch or Belgian. <laughs> Oh, that might have been translated into, like, French, but... <laughs> Let's go to the beach capers. Local sheep population devastated for the Fiji, but it's life-saving some <laughs> It's never had a proper adaptation, only terrible ones. I wish they had, like, a better show. Um, for people who don't know, it's a Belgium comic. And it was really big in the Netherlands as well. And my mom would always buy them. Uh, it was a really fun one. In French, they were called Bob and Bobettes. Now, I don't want to say anything bad to the French, but that is a worse name. <laughs> that that is a worse name, I'm afraid to say. <laughs> okay, okay. Bom and Bombat. Okay, okay. If it's Bom and Bombat, I'll allow it. <laughs> that actually sounds cute again. It reminds me of Paper Mario. <laughs> Welcome to Peacekeeper, Spyro. Look how our treasure has been turned against us and stolen. We cover our treasure, Spyro. Collect treasure. Got it. Let's go. Okay. Apparently, did reach Germany. I see, I see. To be fair, like, I don't blame you. <laughs> I don't think I've ever met anybody <laughs> outside of the Netherlands or Belgium who even knew about you pick up even knew about it. And I just woke up. Yeah, I like it. It's the military one. And like the little military creatures are really cute. Like, look at them. Oh wait, no. I want to look at you. Look at this little waddle. <laughs> I like them. They're good. <laughs> are these dragons disappearing off to anyway? I think they're just going home. In so many comics, sometimes we stumble upon one like, wait, this one's from Belgium too, yeah. Belgium is kind of like the comic hub, I feel. Like, the Netherlands has a couple of comic artists, but like, Belgium has more. <laughs> yeah, I know we got to aim and uh, fire the cannons. Just trying to... There we go. That's how we aim them. to remember what it is we blow up again. Not that clearly. I think this we might have to blow up. There we go. You knew them art. Mm -hmm. Did I blow that up? Maybe not. Okay, okay. I'll figure that out later. I don't think we need to like blow things up with every one of them. But I will light some up. This is PSX can play my old disc. Hell yeah! Let's go! Ooh. Oh, right, there was one over here. I remember now. Wide, wide canyon. Had a video game express called Spike and Susie? I... I understand that they probably have to change the names for international audiences. Because, like, I, I get, like, English people wouldn't know how to pronounce Suska and Whiska, but, like... Spike and Susie sounds so wrong. Like, you, you can't just call them that. <laughs> Tintin is Belgium, but no, Tintin is French. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He actually, I mean, I guess I shouldn't talk because, like, Tintin has a different name in Dutch, too. <laughs> in Dutch, he's called Kuifje. <laughs> Base model is complete. Let's go. You've got this. So where now is the day when Dexos had disc drives? Why? You can't really find them with disc drives anymore. It sucks. You have to like buy a separate one. Okay. 
Spec and Susie sounds like Undertale characters, now you mention it. Miss Reddit, it's the British name. The video game is Luke and Lucy. I'm not sure if I like it much better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought the guy who created Tintin was Belgian too, but like, you know, you guys are the ones with like infinite Google at your fingertips, so I trust you guys won't lie to me <laughs> about him actually being French. It's called Tim and Struppy. I hate all of these localization names. <laughs> Like, I get it can be Suska and Whisker, but this is like me finding out that Nainchi isn't called Nainchi but Miffy in other countries <laughs> all over again. Yeah, he was Belgian, that's what I thought. Oh, yeah, Akrisi, hi, hi, hi. <laughs> oh, you meant Tintin, I see. Hi, Spyro. Sparks the Dragonfly has been doing a good job protecting you. Make sure to keep him strong by feeding him lots of butterflies. No, it's not Miffy in the Netherlands. The, the entire world changed the name. It's it's Nantje. <laughs> and, and Nantje is way cuter. Yeah, it's like she wrote it. <laughs> the bad localization would be Joanna, but it's already being used so well. <laughs> yeah, Nantje it's like um, short for Konantje, which means like little bunny. <laughs> Basically. It's like the, the end part of, and that because of that, it's like a really popular name for bunnies as well in the Netherlands. Because it's basically like a cutesy way of saying little bunny. <laughs> okay, Suske and Whisk was at least Captain German. I see, I see. <laughs> like, I, I do understand with like Miffy, because I get it, like the, the way it's written would make it really hard for non-Dutch people to figure out how it's pronounced. I, I get that, but I was still like, wait, what? Miffy? <laughs> the Ninja is so much cuter. Now, of course, the most bunny, famous bunny name was Floppy. That's true, that's true. <laughs> uh, Floppy, for people who don't know, is a Dutch Christmas song. Very traditional. It is basically the Dutch version of um, I'm Dreaming of a White Christmas. It's our Mariah Carey. Um, once winter time starts, unironically, um, this is the song you will hear a lot on the radio. <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> um, and it's about um, a, a little kid. And God, it's a messed up song. I guess I'll just like tell the people <laughs> you guys know it's about the context. It's you, you have to understand. D Dutch people have dark humor. <laughs> And this is technically a comedy song. Yeah. Don't localize me as Joan the Fifth. Don't that would probably be the name, huh? Okay, so Nightje is a Christmas song. And it's about a guy and he wakes up, you know, two days before Christmas. And his little bunny rabbit is gone. And he is so confused because the day before he went to his rabbit hutch and he closed this and he was so sure he closed it. But so where could his bunny have gone? And his mom says we'll go look for it in the garden. Like he must be out here somewhere and they look for it together. Um, but they can't find it. They can't find it. Um, and, he, and like he goes to bed thinking about it. Like going like man and I, I'm so sure I closed the rabbit hutch. I do that every night. I... I looked at him, it was really sad. And like the next day, you know, he goes searching the garden again. And his mom is like, you know, uh, we'll look everywhere. Except the shed. Because he just, the, there's no way the rabbit could be in the shed, right? Right? And you know, the little boy's like, no, 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 that makes sense. There's no way the rabbit could be in the shed. So, Christmas evening. <laughs> It is basically the story of two. Uh, Christmas Even is, uh, you know, little rabbit uh, Floppy, the rabbit, still not found, still missing. He's still searching in the, the outside, but, you know, not in the shed because, you know, he couldn't possibly be in the shed, so. Uh, and he's like, can't, you know, eat. He's like, has no appetite. And then, you know, his father pulls out a tr silver tray, the main dish, and he's like, hey, yup! Here's Floppy! <laughs> and there is Floppy in three pieces. 
And uh, you know, of course, uh, once again, uh, this this is a popular Christmas song. Um, the kid one goes uh, running up the stairs, crying, screaming at his parents, saying like, "What the fuck? That was my rabbit! I hate you!" Um, you know, Christmas dinner is ruined. The whole family is there. He goes to bed. He he goes to bed crying. So, it is the the day after Christmas. His mother remembers it oh so well. <laughs> Father's bed was empty. Bob goes looking for him in the garden, but not in the shed because surely he couldn't be there. It is implied that this boy then um, chops his father in three pieces and hides him in the shed. And that's a public Dutch Christmas song. It is our version of Mariah Carey. It is on the radio all the time. <laughs> and... Um, like I said, it's, it's technically a, a comedy song, you know, when the, the plot twist happens at the end, you know, on the soundtrack, you hear the people in the audience laughing, you know, when, when the, he says, like, you know, don't go looking in the shed, mom. <laughs> it's from a stand-up comedy show, yeah. It, it doesn't translate very well. <laughs> yeah, it's tragic the entire time, and then the, the plot twist happens. Um, yeah. Yeah, and I'm not joking when I say this is unironically the most popular Dutch Christmas song. <laughs> like, without a hint of irony, it is, um, it is the most, it is a lot funnier in Dutch. It's really hard <laughs> to, like, translate it. The, the comedic, the timing on it is pretty good, but it is weird. It's just, like, you cannot explain it to people. <laughs> Because when you start thinking about the song for more than one second, it really is like, wait, what the hell? What's the song even about? And in other words, a lot of rabbits are called floppy in Dutch. Um, before that song came out, there was a long time in history when um, rabbit was a popular Christmas food in the Netherlands. Like it was pretty traditional Christmas dinner. Ironically, um, after the song released, um, I believe people started eating rabbit less. <laughs> You know, it became uh, less of a popular Christmas dinner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, explaining a joke is like dissecting a frog. You will understand it better, but dies in the process. Exactly, exactly. Hi, Jesse. Hi, hi, hi. It's, it's a weird song, and I will readily accept that. The, the, it's, it does have, like, a better delivery in Dutch, but it's also a very old song. Um, it's a very famous song. I, I think every Dutch person you ask, they will know Floppy. <laughs> Unless they're like a totally Zoomer kid. I'm not sure. I can't guarantee that it's still like on the radio these days because I haven't lived in Netherlands in a while, but <laughs> there we go. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is Floppy. That's the contest behind Floppy. <laughs> um, bunnies are actually really popular pets in the Netherlands. They are, they are. And you know, and if you kill them, uh, they, will, they will kill you. <laughs> and chop you into three pieces is the... Moral of the story is not kill the bunny. It is actually, um, I have joked before, like, a long time ago, that this kind of Doom Guy's origin story, like, one day, like, I kind of would, like, it shocks me that nobody has made, like, a Doom Guy version of Floppy. Like, I guess that, like, niche Dutch Christmas songs and, like, Doom fans just don't have enough overlap, though there are definitely Dutch Doom fans. <laughs> so maybe one year I'll make the most niche Christmas song of all time. <laughs> You know? Has a football team uh, named after someone who sold budget rabbits? Damn. <laughs> um, now, to be fair, like, even back in the day, it wasn't common to eat your own pets. <laughs> like, remember, the twist of the story is that he murders his father. <laughs> yeah, those demons make a big mistake killing Daisy and eating it for Christmas. <laughs> But yeah, that, that is the story of Floppy. <laughs> there we go. Oh, these guys. There we go. Got him, got him. Okay, now that we've got the egg guy, I'll unhatch this one. Now we're doing what we're doing, guys. Search for his rabbit only to find this. How's the dragon supposed to flame metal armor anyway? Remember, Spyro. Flame won't harm metal. But charging with your horns, that should do the trick. Mm -hmm. I like the designs of the dragons in this game. Honestly, like a Doom mod where Doom guy searches for the rabbit only to find what's his dad at the end, and the entire time, like Floppy plays in the background. 
would be really funny to me. <laughs> but it would also be the most niche world in all of existence. <laughs> like for the, you know, a handful of Dutch players who would get the joke. <laughs> Doom guy means Doom dad, yeah? I mean, that is what Doom Worlding is all about. That's true, that's true. <laughs> and God, don't tempt me. I still want to make a world. <laughs> Oh, Doom Guy, it's too bad. <laughs> Turns out Doom Dad was evil all along. It wasn't even the demons who didn't Daisy, it was his father. <laughs> he didn't, he just didn't realize it yet. Which would now make Doom a Christmas game. <laughs> Need a boss team version of Floppy. Uh, I'm not very musically talented. I'd have to ask like somebody to do like a rearrangement <laughs> of the like Floppy song. <laughs> Het was de eerste kerstdag. 1964, vader weet het nog zo goed. <laughs> Doom guy jumping straight to whip and tearing demon before checking his shit. Yup. <laughs> Made all of the dragons extra hot for some reason. I mean, I think the reason was that the artist wanted extra hot dragons. <laughs> Maybe there would be demons, but there are metaphor. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, there are Doom ones like that. One of the baddest demon slaves of all time, she responds for revenge for the rabbit. Yep. <laughs> Sorry if rabbits and father. Sounds like the first Psychonauts games. God, I wanna play Psychonauts again. I do have Psychonauts in Japan now. Oh, so I could play it at some point. Oh. It is one of my favorite uh, PlayStation 2 games. So I would quite enjoy doing that again. Okay. But yeah. <laughs> At some point, at some point. Maybe after. Oh. After. It's... No! Stop! Like, you kept punching me. Not gonna lie, that song is really messed up. It is! <laughs> like, especially if you translate it literally <laughs> into English. <laughs> she slaps. I am aware of the milkman <laughs> meme. <laughs> God, the milkman stage is like one of the best stages. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna do the Hardcore Unpatch Meat Circus. Yep, I have the PlayStation 2 version of the game, so... That means um, suffering through the Meat Circus, <laughs> as they say. <laughs> the, the worst stage of all time. I want to fax that to you. Yeah, I still need to play that at some point. I haven't played it either. Yeah. Yeah, the comedy show came from was not for kids. No, no, no. Um, but after that, it's just been on radios forever, so kids certainly know it. <laughs> <laughs> no, now I think of it, I don't think I've actually ever listened to the rest of the comedy show. Or maybe I have. My mom, like, always really liked uh, comedy. Like, so, like, we listened to, like, a lot of them back in the day. So, like, I know, like, a lot of, like, weird songs. <laughs> like, weird Dutch comedy songs, basically. But unfortunately, a lot of them just don't translate to English well. <laughs> Which is a shame. <laughs> My cat woke up and she probably wants her breakfast. Good morning to the cat. I hope she has a good, good breakfast. Go. Yeah, translating stand-up is near impossible. Exactly, exactly. Like, some puns just don't really translate. And like, like you said, like, the second you're explaining a joke, the joke is usually much less funny. <laughs> <laughs> so it can't really be helped. Try to bounce out of Kotobukiya kids. They don't fit quite as easily as Gump Um, mm -hmm. Agreed, agreed. There's like a lot of like really good ones. Huh? Like especially because like... Can I keep this up for that? I think this is like another key one. How's Mamuna doing? She's okay. She's in the other room. Oh. We caught it a little bit close for dinner today. <laughs> but I finished up just in time. Huh? Before streaming. We're actually, uh, I guess I haven't talked about that yet. Oh, my mom really wants to go to Disney. Uh, so we're probably gonna go to Disney on Friday. Hey, what's on the other side of that river? Why don't you glide there and find out? <laughs> Did you hear me explain the entirety of Fluffy? Maybe the door is closed and you don't really hear stuff from the other side of the door. So I don't think she overheard me necessarily. <laughs> There we go. 
And also, uh, I've been like meaning to like move into a bigger apartment at some point. And my mom said she was like interested to like take a look at like some bigger places to get with me, which is also why like the rest of the schedule is a little bit fuzzy for the rest of the week. Um, because I might be like taking some looks around. <laughs> <laughs> because like I'm really running out of space for like all my stuff and games and things So it would be nice to maybe update. How long is she staying? She's staying till like, um, I think it was the 8th of May. So she's still here a little bit longer uh, Japanese summon air cell never really talk about Looney Tunes. Really? I think like it's just because like Looney Tunes might not have been on TV as much Not sure if I want to do Tokyo Disneyland when I go I feel like I should, but I feel like I'd enjoy Fuji Q more. It's up to you. I will say that, like, if you want to go to Tokyo Disney, don't go to Disneyland. Go to Disney Sea. Um, Disneyland is basically more or less exactly the same as you get in Disney everywhere else. Uh, while Disney Sea is like the uniquely Japan park, um, making it the better of the two options if you can only choose one. Yeah, I need a better place for Diddle Merch. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Okay, we've blown that one up. Oh, let's get these first. Just rent a warehouse. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, that's expensive. <laughs> like at that point, I might as well have it like somewhere close to me, like in my own apartment. <laughs> I'm gonna be paying for extra warehouse costs. I'll look up Disney Sea. Yeah, I. I am very much in favor of like visiting Disney Sea over Disneyland. Like Disneyland, I'll admit, it's still fun in Japan. They have like their own, um, like you know, special parades, holiday themes, and stuff. Um, but Sea is like the one that has like all its own, like uniquely Japanese. Like it has its own mascot characters that you only get in Japan, um, and like really good like musical shows and stuff. <laughs> So yeah, between the two, if you have like the choice or you can only do one of them, strongly recommend C over land. <laughs> because land, from what I recall, basically exactly the same as Paris. And I assume probably roughly the same as like the American one too. And the warehouse and living in it to save money. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure that my mom would be amazed when she sees my new home. <laughs> but probably not in the, the way I want her to be. <laughs> If I was living in a warehouse. <laughs> Very large apartment full of diddle mirrors. Very large apartment full of diddle I mean, that is the, the eternal cycle. Because unironically, I kind of ran out of shelf space for the dittos. So if I do find a larger apartment, I'd need a new shelf to like... Add to the extra dittos. <laughs> um, because a lot of them are just kind of, you know, like stacking up another place. But they're not part of the main display. Like, I'm... I'm hitting second display zone. <laughs> they need more dittos, yeah, to, to fill up to the second display. <laughs> Sister loves uh, Disney, so I'd have to do it at least uh, one. Mm -hmm. If you're doing at least one, definitely recommend C. C is quite lovely, like even just the atmosphere of it. Like I'm not even like hugely into Disney or anything, but I do really enjoy C because it's just... Um, it has like this Mediterranean atmosphere with like a big lake in the middle. It's very cute. Very cute. So between the two, it's definitely the one I'd recommend over the other. Build a house of the Diddle Mouse Farm. Here, now here we're talking. <laughs> and that ironically reminds me of when I was like... <laughs> eight years old and going into the official Fox Kids um website chat box where I'd pretend I was Ditto in like... Pokemon battles against other H-Holds <laughs> and I'd be like Ditto transforms into Hausch Ditto jumps on top of Charmander Charmander's dead <laughs> I, I'm sorry to everybody else who was fighting against my Ditto <laughs> I was 8, please forgive me <laughs> Reach the highest point in Cliff Town. You can get to almost anywhere from here. If I were you, I'd use that whirlwind there. <laughs> I can just open a Ditto Museum. I'm not sure if Nintendo would like that, especially if I'm doing it in Japan. <laughs> Ditto Airbnb. No, I could never. 
Strangers in my house? No, thank you. <laughs> what about the sphere? Apple used to teleport, Apple escape, disconnect, German is fucking dead. No, being eight is unforgivable. I know, some crimes can never be forgiven. <laughs> To be fair, it's not like as if every other age old in that website wasn't cheating just as badly as I was. <laughs> so it was probably okay. The great ditto crushing of my youth, yeah? <laughs> but yeah, no, I 100% I did that. <laughs> I overshot it. Oh, but luckily we can get back up. Oh, thank goodness. There we go. Arrested for diddle crimes. <laughs> can you imagine going to jail for ditto? Actually, like, my mom will, like, randomly, like, read me newspapers. Um, like, whenever there's, like, Pokemon or whatever in it. And apparently somebody in Japan actually did just, like, yesterday get arrested for, like, um... Hacking and selling Pokemon, so like you could get arrested for diddle crimes. It's not impossible <laughs> Triangle should stop the flight. Right, right, right. Okay, okay. Just need to time it a little better There we go Okay, got him. Now I just need to get the other ones still make that yeah 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 that just jumps like a walk yeah he's just a, a silly little dragon he can't stay up in the air forever <laughs> that'd be illegal just got back to them if you used the ditto crime thing um if i were to take the suggestion to open a ditto museum i would get probably arrested for ditto crimes like you know um nintendo would set the mafia to my house and murder me you know hit me with the the kill squads. Hey, what's seven? Say hey. Game skeleton. Thank you, thank you. Have you seen any suspicious Pokemon around here? Dopey plank face, dopey beady eyes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, wait. No, that's a different one was erected. Uh, for sending threats. I had not heard of that, that one yet. The worst thing Ditto could do. <laughs> It's okay, I'm sure Ditto, Ditto likes that, so don't don't worry too much about him. <laughs> okay, if I recall, we can like fly around the back of this one too, I think. Let's try that. Yay, I remembered correctly. <laughs> My memories, they still hold up. Then one accidentally eating ditto disguised as food? Probably, but I feel like you'd have to spit it out afterwards, right? Because that can be very tasty. Unless it tastes like gelatin. But no, 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 don't eat ditto, don't eat ditto. <laughs> That's probably bad, it's probably bad. Okay, okay. Button all of these. And just do it underground style like a fight club. <laughs> a gambling place. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's it's Japan famously um, lenient on the underground gambling places. <laughs> Carpenter's the thing, except it's just ditto. That would be kind of a cute thing, though. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> mm, flavor ditto. Don't no, do not flavor the ditto. There we go. Like, I'd have to imagine it probably doesn't taste very good, so you'd spit it up immediately afterwards. There we go. Reminds me, one time I went to a con where one of the vendors was selling Pokemon plushies, and so some of the plushies were like Pokemon with Ditto Face, you can tell me instantly. <gasps> yeah, I've seen those before! Those are like official! At least official ones exist. <laughs> and they're like, now you guys have me thinking like, could you use a ditto for a heart transplant? That would be hard for the ditto, so you probably shouldn't. That would be mean, but like... Could you? <laughs> you can blackmail local police with free tickets and maybe some more ditto merch. <laughs> I'm banana flavor, that's still. 
But that doesn't mean it's good to eat me. <laughs> it's like Eggman forcing the cute animals to power as well, but yeah, that would be. It would be. You shouldn't do it, but it would be theoretically possible. <laughs> I am. Um, I refuse all banana flavored ditto allegations. I am not a banana flavored ditto. <laughs> do not listen to Gondor's lies. <laughs> None of that is true. None of that is true. I think we got all the gems. We got all the gems. <laughs> I'm also not a fish flavored ditto. <laughs> Here we go. So the banana flavored ditto would say. Is it? <laughs> I don't think a banana flavored ditto would say that. <laughs> Oh, they're so cute in their little marching formation. Very cute, very cute. Okay. So we finished this one. Silly guy. Silly little hiding spot. Okay, okay. Um, wait, was I supposed to like hit these guys with the like cannon? I can't remember. So what are they today? Let's go! I did not know that. Salted caramel did though? No, that doesn't seem thrill. That doesn't seem thrill. Wait, I think we should the towers? Did we? No, that does miss the towers. Let me try hitting one of these. The chest? Ah, the chest does work. Okay, okay. I'll probably have to get the other one from another angle. Because it shoots too far away. Okay, okay, okay. Unless... I mean, I can give it a try, but... I don't think so. It po should probably work, you think so? It seems to, like be too close for it, but... Let's try Oh, it does like... Okay, okay. It automatically adjusts the, the distance. Got it, got it. Okay. Then let's look around for a couple more of those. Make sure we're not missing any. Here we go. It also works on enemy tents. Mm. But we can also burn those down. <laughs> Love Duffy is just made from Ditto byproducts. Do not eat the Ditto Duffy. <laughs> There's one over there. There's more down here. There we go. Mm, Ditto Tuffy. Do not, do not the Ditto Tuffy. <laughs> yeah, that's where he came from, I'm pretty sure. Okay. There we go. Wait. I went to Dry Canyon, did I? Not yet, not yet. I missed two of them in Clifftown. Bacon gun, thank you for the bone, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I see. I see. Okay. Mind it if it's a small one. Small things are huggable. Indeed, indeed. And they're cute. All dittos are cute. And like most dittos aren't very big. I think most of them are small regardless. Small and very, very huggable. Okay. There we go. Oh, she didn't shoot yet. Huggable. <laughs> Big things can be huggable too. That is too. <laughs> oh, 
And generic. Thank you for the bounty. Thank you. We have a whole bunch of these guys in a while. The slightly annoying ones. Okay. We have something still back here. Man, you know the worst thing is... It's probably like an enemy or something I missed in the other area. Or like a cold one I didn't like blast with fire. Two of them. Okay. Oh, no. Second generic. No, I got it right. Uh, thank you for the vote. <laughs> Feeling that you and Chunky Lotus would get along since you're both a uh, creature of enormous size. I'm not sure if I know who that is. <laughs> okay, speaking of Huckable, this one gives me warm hug vibes. Mm -hmm. Is it because of the, the sweater today? The sweater is pretty comfy. I saw the opportunity. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Okay. Always gives bit of sweet memories. Mm -hmm. But like happy ones though. Where'd he go? He's right here. Are you just mean in general? Okay, okay. <laughs> Thought you meant specifically today. Because I'd agree. <laughs> I'm very comfy looking today. 200 meter tall dragon cat. Ah, I see, I see. Got how nice the stage soundtrack is, right? Oh, thank you for the hydrate. One second. Thank you for releasing me. Thank you for being released. One full package. Thank you, thank you. That one was rather goofy. I'd say a lot of them are a little goofy. <laughs> uh, I. I'm a little bit shy about meeting out some people, <laughs> but I appreciate it though. <laughs> hey, oh. Oh, we'll have all of these. One of those many thank you for releasing me, dragons. You know, sometimes a thank you is all you need. <laughs> I feel bad for Spire. What even is the purpose of? Dry Canyon rewards good gliders. Good. You are a good glider, eh, Spyro? I was born to glide. <laughs> I am born to glide. <laughs> okay. Save. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Now here's how to glide. <laughs> it's probably to get. Oh. Right over here. There we go. I was born to push X. <laughs> born to glide, forced to fall. <laughs> there we go. I was born. <laughs> born to be born. Oh no! My glide! Ah, oh, dang it. Back down I go. How many gems are in this place? Good question. 400 We already lost our 100% on the other level I thought we had all of it on the other level I so thought we had all of it But we did lose it We did lose it <laughs> Born to fly, forced to swim <laughs> Forced to drown mm -hmm. Can you go back in 100%? I can go back in 100% if I want to. Which I might do. I'm just not entirely sure yet if I'll commit to it. <laughs> I'll have to consider. Might take me a while to find that like one gem I'm missing. Because you know it's most likely going to be just one gem that I missed there. <laughs> like more likely than not. That's a dead dragon. It is, it is. Okay. There we go. I mean, we have plenty of lives at the very least. At least so far. No problems in that front. There we go. Venus the best. Thank you, Silver. Thank you. Thank you. Fight vulture or fight chicken? It's a good question. <laughs> what do you guys think vulture tastes like? Probably not very good, right? Like, carnivores tend to not like taste very good. So, probably not very good. 
Probably a little diseased, actually. Like, I know they're not as, like, scavenger-y as people make them out to be. Like, they do some hunting as well, supposedly. But, you know, probably pretty bad, huh? <laughs> hey, General Dan, Kai, hey. Chicken, maybe? Bird is a bird. <laughs> yeah, but there's a reason I'm not eating, like, hawks or swallows, right? It's because, like, usually the carnivorous birds tend to taste worse. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Carrion eaters probably just taste bad most of the time. Hey, Fox. Hey, hey. Is that all you cook in spices? <laughs> yeah, probably doesn't taste very good now I think about it. Probably not. Yeah, that's how you get brand new diseases, more likely. <laughs> they have powerful st acid st stomach. Ah, that makes sense. That makes sense. You need something to deal with, like, all the rot in the sick and dead animals you eat. That makes sense. Okay. From here, we do go the other way. To the fortress, only to eat in front of other fortress as a flex. <laughs> you know, that would be a good flex. <laughs> you know, they wouldn't see it coming. <laughs> then again, fortress seem like the guy. Do they eat their own? They seem like the kind of species that might eat their own. <laughs> okay. No sugar, because I was... <laughs> I the imagine fortunes probably don't taste good. Yeah, probably not. But you wouldn't be eating a stomach acid, right? Eat one fortunes high protein and low in fat and cholesterol. Hey, apparently fortunes are healthy. <laughs> I mean, I know we shouldn't trust everything Google says, but hey, that doesn't... That sounds uh, yummy, yummy. <laughs> Basically chicken, huh? Was this written by AI? It might have been written by AI. <laughs> These days, most likely if it's on the front page. <laughs> Here we go. I was actually mentioning it to my mom uh, the other day that like a lot of like the Google front page results are like AI written now, so you can't really trust what it says without like doing some extra research. And her response to that was, um, this is why we should have stuck to everything on floppy disks, because those were trustworthy. I was like, I, I think it's okay that we evolved a little bit beyond the floppy disk. <laughs> just, just to tease you a bit. <laughs> was this stream written by an AI? I hope not. I, I am, well, I'm not human, but I am a creature. <laughs> I'm not a robot. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never forget an AI gives the detailed instruction on how to boil an egg. Oh no. Yeah, we can evolve just a little bit as a treat. <laughs> yeah, we didn't pay by minute, but before anyone <laughs> that's in that on the phones. Mm. <laughs> creature known as a woman, yeah. But also a creature known as a sea bunny and an eldritch goddess. <laughs> <laughs> From beyond the, the depths of the ocean. <laughs> okay. You have to keep flying this way. Like, let me pretty far back from where we were. Okay, and then over this way again. Through here. Oh. Need to try not die on my way there. Yeah, this guy. This guy and his birds. Okay, okay. Dragon! Floppy Bus gave us an amazing song. Don't copy that Floppy, that's two, that's two. Is that you, Spyro? <laughs> are you the young dragon I've been hearing so much about? Ever mm -hmm. since you're a wee that's puff of smoke, we've known... Uh... You've known? Ah, I forget. Ah, I forget. <laughs> yeah, old man dragon. He cannot hear us. <laughs> there we go. I eat vegan. Nobody likes I, I eat vegan. <laughs> Everyone loses their mind. Yeah, it's only fair. <laughs> and like vultures, see when you save and taste. That's not true. That's not true. Don't don't listen to what you found on the first page of, of Google. <laughs> that that was probably with by an AI. <laughs> Do not trust what Sneo is saying. <laughs> Wout was talking like was completely different mod. Yeah, like you cannot trust like any of the Google summaries at this point. They are just nonsense. Oh, oh no, spiral. 
Okay, but at least like this time I respawn close by. There we go. It's okay. I can I can have a little death as a treat. <laughs> as a treat. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. You know what? We're at 300 now. Not bad. Not bad. 300 as a treat. Uh, what's all, all the way over this side then? Because we still have ones up there. Probably gonna have to climb back for that. Please refrain from dying as a treat. Yet I have a little dying as a treat. <laughs> Just a little because I've been very good. <laughs> No dying, 50 gems, fine. <laughs> no! I, I take a little dying as a treat. <laughs> mm. Go. And this time I won't run off the exact same match again. I can have a little vulture as a treat. I'll take a little vulture as a treat too. I don't think, yeah, we can't jump from there. We're gonna have to jump from over there. Once we're up there. Okay. Now we can work our way around this area. There we go. I've been good. Apparently not if you keep dying. No, no, no. That, that's my little treat where I get to die as a treat. <laughs> Here we're gonna have to do a bunch of jumping. Okay. And the spiral games just make me happy. <laughs> They're so comfy. <laughs> like even when you fall down, like you can't just like look at spiral and not feel happy, right? Like they're just so nice. <laughs> Lots the environments in them. Especially the old ones. Okay. First time going through this one? No, I did play it as a kid. But it's been like, you know, a good long time since I last played it. So, it's nice to play it again. Oh, I don't think we can make that from there. So, my memory is not entirely fresh either. There's a desert known as Dead by Chocolates. So I guess that kept it me at all. There you go, there you go. I haven't 100% did. The thing is, I think I have. But it's been a long time, so I kind of just forgot where everything is. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's been like two decades. <laughs> oh, depends on the spiral. Certain Skylanders uh, spirals elicit fear. <laughs> well, I'm talking about the old ones. <laughs> the, the Skylanders I'm not counting in this equation <laughs> because I didn't care much for them. <laughs> okay. Um, have we been there? Should we please grab that? There we go. Okay, now I think we can make the jump over there. Just barely, but should be possible. We Got it. Oh, but we're missing a key. Okay. Hey, Fusion Mom. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Is spiral edible? Do not eat the spiral. <laughs> no eating the... Then again. But no eating spirals. Dragons are edible, but don't eat spiral. <laughs> I'm upset that you would definitely remember if only for some of the painful sections. I mean, I remember like completing all of the flying segments. Um, so like I do remember just like searching for the gems, but like I don't remember the exact location of everything. <laughs> I might have also suppressed memories. <laughs> hey, okay, I'll say hi, thank you for the bone. Are Norks edible? Yeah, they don't look very tasty. <laughs> I mean, possibly, but still, look very tasty. Christy Tanaki, thank you for the follow. What if Spyro is tasty? You still don't eat them because you don't eat your friends. You can eat other dragons you don't care about. Uh, key in this level. I do not remember the key in this level. <laughs> uh, we've been around this zone. Norks, I wonder if they like Shrek. <laughs> They are kind of sweaty, that's true. Still missing a dragon as well. Okay. Is it down here? No. 
No, no, no. I do remember this level specifically giving me the one around. I'm like going in circles in this place quite a bit. <laughs> Hi, Action Maverick. Thank you for the bone. Thank you. Thank you. Checked here. Like, the remaining ones are like probably between that one chest and the one dragon I'm still missing in this level. Okay, okay. Mm. Let me check on the ground around here, which we haven't done a lot of on the ground stuff, I think. No, but I have cleared this. Okay. Just circle around to make sure. Yeah, now we're up at this temple place again. Which we have been to before. Mm. Ah, and here's one of our missing dragons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we're just missing the key. We jump. Oh. To that dragon fuck. I'll pay you 400 gems to war like a dragon. Oh. <laughs> I can't do wars, you guys. I can't do all my heart. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wow. 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 <laughs> that one is the one I remember. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry, that's the best story I can do. <laughs> it's really terrifying. I, I can never become king. <laughs> I, I'm a bad Simba. <laughs> so I can walk so far. I can't do it. <laughs> Sounds more like a hungry cat. <laughs> kind of turned into a big cat. That's the closest I can come. If I like kind of halfway go to like my angry meow, like wow, 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 or I ever see one? Yeah, I'm, I'm not a lion. <laughs> Sound erotic? <laughs> oh dear, I don't know what kind of. You probably should check the doctor for that. <laughs> It's probably we still need to get that one dragon, which was like somewhere in the center here. <laughs> oh, God, no, thank you for the phone. <laughs> Angry Crap Meow just sounds like an old cat, yeah. <laughs> like you have this one that like hovers over to the center. Yeah, I have to do some gliding for the dragon. I'm just trying to figure out where I glide from. There's the one over there. Like... I think there's also like going back there, which we might want to do. Like, I think we can like... Do some gliding for one of these to get there. Get the exact way, but... Oh. No, not this way. Welcome, how are you? I'm doing well, I'm doing well. Yeah, it's reckon gems and the key yet to be found. Mm. Mm. Now it was up there. Just need to... Find the pass when you mention Joe. Mom <laughs> laughing in this room hearing the forest voices. I don't think she can hear me. Uh, or at least she reassures me she cannot hear me when the door is closed. <laughs> The tower at the portal might be high enough. Trill. Trill. Uh, I'll have to get back there for a bit. Uh, okay, that's not the one through here. That's the one from up the stairs. I'll pick up my extra life while we're here. Uh, need to go up here then. 
Like, I do remember getting really lost in this level, so this checks out. <laughs> I remember that much. Okay, was there anywhere else we can jump to from here? It mostly is just that one platform, if I recall. There's a platform on the left, but without any particular purpose. That's where the dragon is. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, okay. Let me see. From here. Here we go. To help and help you. Yeah, I also have people who can lie to me when needed. <laughs> for where the path of gem starts. I mean, I did see it earlier. Uh, I think I can just make this jump from here. I thought I might not have... I might barely have the distance for that, I guess. Yeah. I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. Might be able to just barely make that. Yeah, maybe? That's a tight one. Is we have to go a long way back <laughs> whenever we fall down. <laughs> okay. And up through here. Up through here. Okay, okay. Wait, no. Not this one. Next one. Mm. Through here. Here we go. I have best gotten animals in the past few years. Oh, that's a shame. Is it because they stopped? Like maybe they were tired or something? Or like are living the good life, the nice and easy slow life? You know, I'll just hope it's because of like, uh, good stuff. <laughs> hmm. Are there like any lower parts I could jump on? Not really. Hmm. Lance, thank you for the bone. Thank you, thank you. I can jump onto this one. That doesn't lead me anywhere. No. No. I feel I have to jump on it from like another side. Like the thing is like I specifically remember getting so lost in these stages because like it wound up being like something stupid simple that I forgot like lost miss somewhere. Not quite sure where. <laughs> you accidentally had it a few minutes ago, I did. <laughs> I thought it was like actually flying around the corner from one of these, but... Oh. Yeah, because that I don't make. I think you have to like... Where was it? Like one of these high ones? Yeah, I think you have to like fly from this high platform around the corner. Um, I think that's what you actually had to do. I just missed it the first time. <laughs> but then you guys told me to go from the teleportation platform. I don't think it's working. I'll just try going from the high one over there again. Okay, thank you for the bone. Thank you, thank you. Okay. So, you guys, I tried it your way. I'm going back to the high platform. <laughs> oh, I'm Blair Adora. Thank you for the wait. Welcome in, welcome in. I hope you had a good stream. I'm Juna, I'm a sea bunny, I play retro games and I do art sometimes and today we're playing Spiral! Welcome, welcome! Spiral time, indeed! Hi, Raiders! How was your stream? What were you playing? What were you up to? I hope you had a good time! We're just looking for the high ground, Shadows of Doubt! I don't think I've heard of that, is that a horror game? Sounds like it could be a horror game, but that's the first time I've seen that name. I hope you had an excellent time! Welcome in, Raiders! Hi, hi, hi! Oh, I should wave to you, hold on. Hello! Oh, wait, no, I'm not... No, 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 that, that ruins everything. <laughs> no wave! <laughs> it's a detective game. Ah, I hope you had a lot of fun. Welcome, welcome. 
It's a time investigation game. I see, I see. Okay, I think we jump. Not from here? Not this one. No, no, no. Wait, uh, another one. Can't believe the hoodie was a lie. No, no, no. It's just, um, I have four arms. <laughs> And you guys aren't supposed to see the second set of arms. <laughs> it's very fun. It's an immersive sim detective game. I see, I see. Look pretty neat. Nice, 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 nice. Either way, welcome in. If you need to get yourself a drink or a snack, make sure you rest up after the stream, especially if you had a long one. And all of you, um, enjoy some spiraling. Uh, we are spiraling uh, the spirals. <laughs> or oh, we're getting we're getting our spiral on, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's here we jump from. And then we circle... Down from here. Wait! Got it, got it! I just missed it last time. Spiraling out of control, yep. <laughs> Finally got Maximus. Incredible glide, Spyro. I thought I'd be stuck mm -hmm. here forever with those ugly vultures standing on my head. <laughs> those birds might look tough, but they're pretty tasty. Flame broiled with a Pretty of tasty. Salt. Hey guys, we were wondering what the vultures tasted like. According to this guy, pretty good apparently. <laughs> so maybe we should eat some uh, vultures later. <laughs> Turns out, it um, might not be a bad idea. You know, um, viruses be damned. <laughs> Share one strange though, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, spiraling out of control was the pun I was trying to make. <laughs> or at least spiraling was trying to say. <laughs> For a dragon, probably. Yeah, to be fair, a dragon is probably immune to poison and viruses, right? Like, probably can handle a little bit. <laughs> little virus never hurt anyone. Well, probably wouldn't hurt a dragon. Yeah, I think a dragon can handle a little virus as it treats. <laughs> Here we go. Actually, yeah, Raiders, would you like to have a piece of vulture? <laughs> and also, Raiders, how many hot dogs is too much hot dogs? <laughs> That's the question of today. <laughs> okay, now I just need to look back around to the one island with the key. And then, I think I got everything in the level, unless I missed like a random gem somewhere. Probably four or five. That's the consensus we came to. Yeah, basically, three is like, okay, you've got a big appetite, but that's acceptable. More than three, like at four or five, that's probably too many hot dogs. <laughs> you know, three is like, you're, you're right on the edge. The, the precip... precip... the per of destruction. <laughs> Try pressing uh, R1. Oh! I mean, I think that's... That's just the same, that's just the wall. Yeah, three is a lot of hot dogs, but that's like... I'm watching you, bud. But you're just about loud. <laughs> Persist... Persipipsy. Persipipsy, yeah. <laughs> Dragons probably have high enough internal body time to kill a lot of bacteria in front. Yeah, that's what I figure. Oh, I didn't do a good bite there. I didn't want to risk it. <laughs> Are hot dog sandwiches? The answer is no. <laughs> Black Yoi, thank you for the bone. Thank, thank you. It depends on how big the hot dogs are. We're assuming standard hot dog sizing. You know, standard dog. <laughs> Does it work in this game? Yeah, no, you have the useless wall that you basically wind up never using. <laughs> Instead. There we go. Is that all? I'm watching the counter. Now did we get a key again? The key was like near the other dragon. <laughs> the d no! Spy one! Put the spy one! No! <laughs> it's fine, we still had lives. <laughs> we still have <laughs> Bye bye dragon. Spyro used the wall near the cliff ledge to quickly exit the mortal. <laughs> standard dog is my favorite unit of matchment. Yeah, like imagine like, you know, a standard dog. <laughs> Still got the 100% though. Like, I swear to god, I had the 100% on the other level. Like, did it 
stopped counting as I exited the level or something. Like, I swear to... Like, I had, like, a round number when we exited that level. And then when I checked the stats, it said, like, 98. I was like, that, that's not right. That's not right. We're bringing Cupid's back. <laughs> you know, I, I say we bring um, Standard Dog into the uh, metric system. <laughs> We're replacing feet with standard dog. <laughs> Please cop seven fire button the forbidden grape soda, but he loves cusses. <laughs> he just he craves it. <laughs> hi Mystic, hi hi hi. Here we go. Dry canyon done. Cliff. Do we go back to Clifftown? <laughs> Honestly, if it's just a hot dog and no bread, I can back of you. No, no, no. Bread is included because if it's no bread, it's a sausage. It's not a hot dog. <laughs> you know, that doesn't count. Missing some in Clifftown. Yeah. And I swear to God, I got all of them in Clifftown. Like, I don't get where where they went. <laughs> I think select takes you the gems uh, screen right away. Less menuing. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That level's big, yeah. <laughs> I could probably go for five. You're testing the limits, but honestly, that's impressive. <laughs> Makes me think of chili dogs, but I have a long time. Guys, is my secret safe with you? I've never had a chili ball. Dog. I never got one. I've never had one either. Ruby. I know Sonic would be very disappointed in me. <laughs> but I never actually had one. <laughs> me neither, but Sonic made me want to try one. Same. Like. That was like even one of the. Like in the. At uh, the Japan, um, ex like the, the games expo in Japan, when they were showing off Frontiers, um, Frontiers, they were like handing out booklets. They were showing off like the top 10 chili dog restaurants in Tokyo. And I will say that tempted me <laughs> because they had Sonic reviews uh, written in them, <laughs> which I thought was fun marketing. Now the wall scanning begins. Yeah. Like, it could even be, like, a random enemy that I forgot to pick up. Like, it could also be, like, in one of the pots that it might have not spit out. Could be anything. We still a chilling your favorite dog. <laughs> I mean, that's fair, that's fair. Oh, 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 we found it! It was a random enemy. Oh, at least that didn't take too long. <laughs> I was worried. Hmm. Yeah, enemies are also gems. They don't give them the second time you kill them. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's a relief. <laughs> Why the dog chilly, though? Give him a jacket. Yeah. If you're cold, he's cold. Put a coat on it. <laughs> that was a short search. Me too. I was afraid we're gonna have to, like, check everything again. <laughs> oh. I forgot the lady gets slappy. There we go. Maybe that's why enemies are in gems in future games? Probably, because it gets really annoying remembering which ones you've taken the gems from. Um, the second you come back or you die. <laughs> and you know, <clears throat> they've all respawned. Yeah. Okay, okay. We once had a chili cock at the barcade to close to the cove though. Oh no! Well, at least it's reopened, even if it was without the chili dogs. Thank you for the hydrate. I actually need to. Mute the mic and cough real quick. One second. There we go. Honestly, I don't even think I'm sick at the moment. It's just that like all the touching grass I'm doing is making my hay fever much worse than when I just like hickey it up all day and I sit inside and don't open the window. 
No, I do open the window, but like... You know what I mean, like actually walking to the park because my mom likes going to the park and stuff. Really, really gets that hay fever going. <laughs> compared to other years because I'm usually a bit more of an indoor person. <laughs> What do my coughs sound like? And uh, once in a while I'll forget to mute, so you'll have to pay attention to those. <laughs> See, but I never could touch grass. <laughs> do like that just because of moving family Saturday? Yeah, no, like I even went to like the nearby park to like eat lunch on the grass underneath all the trees. And then like afterwards I was like, oh my god, my eyes. They're so itchy. <laughs> And you know, not to mention like my my voice and my throat and my nose. <laughs> I do unfortunately get the hay fevers. <laughs> if it's in effect other features as well, when it's just a season over there. In Japan, we're like still in hay fever season. Like, and it's particularly rough in hay fever. Like Japan, like I know some people who like didn't get hay fever in other countries who get worse hay fever in Japan. <laughs> Or like get hay fever for the first time. Like the, I think it's especially the cedar tree that are very, very aggressive. Like I think a lot of those were planted at some point, like uh, when the country was being rebuilt. And like there's so many of them and they are like pollen city. Um, <laughs> so I know like those, those like kill a lot of people. <laughs> love allergies, I love wild temperature swings, I love modern rain. <laughs> But actually, my allergies are actually not as bad in Japan. <laughs> Which like, is maybe a wild thing to say um, after I just complained. But like, back in Europe, um, there was like, I don't even know which tree it was. But there was a certain tree that like, would make my eyes like, actually tear up. <laughs> hey fever where people keep saying hey to each other. That's right, that's right. Like the thing is, despite the hay fever, spring is still my favorite season. <laughs> Because the weather is the nicest, you know, um, there's not too much rain yet, at least in Japan. And there's not much rain in, in spring. And like, it's kind of sunny and the plants are nice. <laughs> I also, I also like fall though. Basically the two seasons that aren't the two extremes. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 <people. laughs> But yeah, um, it could be worse. I can at least still see. I mean, I do take medication. Uh, so, you know, that takes away some of the worst <laughs> parts of it. The guy just fell off the cliff on his own. Um, I think he died because I set his butt on fire. That or he just, you know, gave up, which is also relatable. Like spring for the sunlight and warm, I like winter for blankets and cold. The thing is, I'd like winter more, but like winter makes me go into like unironic hibernation <laughs> like I kind of have like sleep issues where I sleep too much to begin with um split winter makes me like so lethargic that like on bad days like my hypersomnia really acts up and I'll I'll be so sleepy that like if I don't stop myself I'll sleep 15 hours in a row <laughs> or like in a day <laughs> which is why winter is a little bit not my favorite <laughs> the cold is just too much <laughs> Yeah, they went off on their own. Mm. <laughs> so like, you know, once the weather becomes warmer again, like I, I feel like I come back alive, I go out of hibernation. <laughs> and it's not as bad anymore. You know, it sometimes gets bad, like even on regular days, but I'm decent at managing my hypersomnia <laughs> when it comes down to it. <laughs> Like winter I overheat easily, so with winter I can uh, stay cool if when it's too the please I'll only wear a shirt and pants. Mm. I used to do that uh, as well. <laughs> like I am also somebody who overheats very easily, so I, even in winter I always wear layers. So that like, oh, if it comes down to it, I can always take a layer off, especially in Japan. Uh, for people who have never been to Japan in winter, um, the heating is on, especially in the trains, very hot. And I don't get how people survive with like their very thick, hot winter coats, heat tech and layers on the train with the heating on. 
Um, I forgot to try and walk. I actually pressed the wrong button. I pressed square. <laughs> it's sleep. I'm gonna sleep, sleep tight. Just sleep when you dreams. Um, which basically means that, like, I will, like, actually pass out from the heat on the train if I can't take off my layers <laughs> in winter. Um, which is basically why um, I look like a madman who, like, immediately takes off all her clothing. Well, not all my clothing, but all my, like, outside layers and jackets and stuff from the cold the second I entered the train or before I entered the train because otherwise it's just it's too hot <laughs> it's too hot I can't stand it I overheat very quickly <laughs> how could you describe every major city in one word one word is a tough one <laughs> Like, maybe some of them. Like, you could say Kyoto, traditional, Tokyo, modern, if you want to, like, get the dichotomy going. But, like, one word, that's not a lot of words. <laughs> maybe I don't know enough words. Simply refuse to wear one and two layers. I cannot, I cannot. <laughs> there we go. Cities, yeah. Hey, Thai Games. Hey, hey, hey. There we go. Naughty C1. Like, even, like, you know, I guess I could say Sapporo in winter is cold. <laughs> but Sapporo in summer isn't that bad. <laughs> it's mostly, like, oh. Uh, depends on the season. <laughs> My mom really likes Hokkaido when we've gone there. She's been trying to convince me to move to Hokkaido. But, like, I like being in Tokyo too much. <laughs> and I want to be the type to turn on my AC in winter. Mm -hmm. I get ya, I get ya. Like, I do put on the heater in winter because I don't like being cold, but uh, it's mostly like the moving around, you know, warms you up quickly. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> you like the guy who wears seven layers, active by the machine and start a blizzard? <laughs> yeah, if, <laughs> if you're hot, everybody should be cold. <laughs> hey, Jillian, hi, hi. Yeah, we got a 25 gem. Well, that was pretty nice. Just doing a bit of backtracking, make sure we didn't miss anything here. Seems we're fine. Seems we're fine. There's a lady up there. We're gonna want to kill her for her gems later. <laughs> hey, I did it. Hi, hi, Yeah, halfway there. Halfway there. That's true. That's true. Just 100 more bones. And you will be free. <laughs> Are you looking forward to your freedom? <laughs> Can I make that? Just barely. Okay, okay. Here we go. Okay. I mean, I think we could actually loop around there too, but... Oop. What could we? No, 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 we were supposed to do that. We were supposed to do that, I think. And again? No, you could you could glide from the other one. Gonna become as yummy as a bonus chicken. It's a good sacrifice! Don't, don't get eaten! <laughs> okay. Dragon time. Trondo. This guy thinks he's so cool. You don't know what it's been like listening to him over and over. <laughs> but I'll tell you one thing. He should watch his back. Hmm. Hmm. Man, I like the old dragon designs. They're cute. Thank you, sassy Mr. Krabs. <laughs> it's a bunny bum world out there. I mean, sea slugs are carnivores. <laughs> But you, you shouldn't, you shouldn't go. <laughs> I think we like hit this guy on the butt. Yeah. He's got that exposed butt going on. That's right, that's right. What should take on the remake designs? They're cute in their own way. Um, I like the originals better. But like, you know, I can see what they were going for. Oh, generally speaking, I suppose. Like, give, making them, like, each a little bit more unique. I get ya, I get ya. There we go. Butt on fire. Yeah? The class are nice for simplicity. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Oh! Missed the butt. Man, this guy thinks he's so cool. Thinks he's so cool, huh? Come on. There we go. <laughs> okay, okay. Get the 
Big one. Got him. Okay, that's a lot of gems. I think we got all the gems on the way here. So like once we get all the ones from the chest, we should have all of them. Here's the butt of many jokes. So I've heard, so I've heard. <laughs> Didn't miss anything behind you, did I? No, I don't think so. Okay. There we go. Gotcha, gotcha. Now the final ones should be... In this one. And we did get the key, so... That should be a 25. Yeah. Okay, okay. Perfect. And one. Okay, probably just wanna glide to the middle there. Okay. We're doing well, we're doing well. Look at that. Look at that. So far, so good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, we haven't 100 percent at home yet, but that's okay, that's okay. We could still do that, we haven't explored the entire area. But we've managed to 100% every single level so far. <laughs> still doing it, still putting it together. Not sure how long it will last. <laughs> but for the time being, we're making it happen. Okay. Let's go through here. Returning home. Dr. Shemp. <laughs> okay. Um, so I think next up we're gonna focus on trying to get more of the gems that we've missed in this area. Uh, there's some that are over here. I mean, maybe I should just do this night flight while I'm in the area. We're gonna have to do the night flight sooner or later, you guys. Bad news, but we're gonna have to do the night flight sooner or later. <laughs> Spyro, I'd like you to look the other way. Okay, okay. Oops. Zero lives left, zero lives left. That's okay. I'll live. <laughs> I'll survive. As long as I know how love I know I'm still alive. I got all my life to live. I got all my love to give, and I'll survive. I will survive. Hey, hey. <laughs> I'll be fine. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> cool. Okay. Night flights. This one will take a couple of tries, you know, as it goes. As we find the pattern. Okay, this one definitely encourages you to start with these. Born to fly, gravity of fuck, fuck, flame of <laughs> and purple dragon. <laughs> exactly. Oh. Was pressing the wrong button, so we completely fucked that up. We're not getting all those chests this time. This one seems to be more straightforward than the other one, so we should be fine. We'll do like a little bit of preemptive exploration. Compared to the other one where there's like actual routing you have to do more or less. I think we'll be okay on this one. Not this time, next time. Okay. Let's try again. I like the music in this level. <laughs> it's so cheerful for the night flights. <laughs> Okay. So far, so good. There will only be like one more set after this one, I assume. 
And that's gonna be something. This way? Whoa. Okay, and I guess we Oh! It's these light things that we have to light up. Okay. We're not gonna get them this time then. Huh? Because I didn't realize in time and that's what we, we were doing. The lighthouses, yeah. That's okay. Because now we know. The knowing is half the battle. <laughs> a, a wise man named Joe <laughs> once told me. This time. Okay. Lighthouse. Oh. Ooh. That was nearly bad. <laughs> nearly fell into the ocean there. Okay. Uh, I might have to remember where the lighthouses are a bit better. Because now we're cutting it a little tight. Can we still make the final one? Oh, I barely missed it. Okay. We'll just have to be a little bit tighter on the, the timing. Should be fine though. Should be fine though. I hesitate a little bit about where to go. That was my undoing. Oh. Might as well restart. <laughs> After I missed the chest. <laughs> okay. Come on now, Night Flight, don't ruin my, my jolly music. <laughs> Here we go. We're fine, we're fine. We're back to jolly. <laughs> the thing is, I started overthinking it, you know? When you start overthinking it, that's when you make mistakes. <laughs> of these flying stages as a kid, but most people hate them. I honestly didn't mind them much as a kid. I can remember having to redo them a bunch, but... The thing is, as a kid, I was also obsessed with flying. Like, I really, you know... If you ask me as a kid, like, if you had a genie wish, what would you do for? Well, obviously, wish for more wishes, but after that, my first wish, uh... Oh, would be to fly. <laughs> Like, I would always uh, wish, wish for wings or flight. That was like my go-to genie wish slash superpower when I was a kid forever. So like, having an entire stage to fly in, uh, where I should don't really get to in the main game, was very exciting for me. <laughs> so I didn't mind them that much. The one problem was like, it was on a timer, I want to be a jet fighter. I feel you. I very nearly became a jet fighter. <laughs> but I've talked about that before. What if the genie uh, lets you fly, but you have to flap your arms, but you can't go very fast? <laughs> you know, I'd still take it. I'd still take it. You know, that's just a workout. You are gonna get a good, good arm muscle. <laughs> I'll be able to open every cookie jar. And I'll be able to fly, you know? Like, honestly, when it comes to flights, there are not many downsides I wouldn't take for it. <laughs> Like, what's a little bit of extra wing flapping, huh? Nobody else can do it. <laughs> yeah, good triceps, good lats. <laughs> good workout. <laughs> there we go. It's gonna stream Microsoft Flight Simulator 14 hours direct by Tokyo to London. <laughs> I have actually streamed Ace Combat before. That's the closest uh, we've gotten. <laughs> Yeah, not that we'd have Jet Fight about, but not see Banjo. I mean, those things could have coexisted, maybe. I'd probably be busy. I probably wouldn't be working from home if I was a Jet Fighter pilot, huh? <laughs> Hiya, Delsin. Hiya, hi. 
It's okay. Even in this... Oh, I, I finished it already. Even in this... Oh, this iteration, I have managed to... To do uh, bell walls. <laughs> Maybe in the future you can. It's really expensive to learn how to fly a plane if you don't get the, the scholarship. <laughs> Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. Yeah, so that's just not really an option anymore. <laughs> but you know, in the past I've done it, and that's good enough. <laughs> oh, hey, Komachi, hi, hi. Imagine we might buy like that fighter. That might actually become a possibility in the future. <laughs> Who knows? Okay, we've got the key here. Streaming from the clouds again, getting shot at everyone we just survive. We need to hit the 10k bits donation in the next 5 minutes. God, can you imagine? Oh, game over. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. Wait, did I save the night flight? I saved the night flight, it's fine. <laughs> we're fine, we're fine, no problem. Wanna pause night to sky with a missile or dog fight? <laughs> My left engine exploded. Can we get some F's and jam, baby? <laughs> God, can you imagine? You'd probably be fired. <laughs> then again, maybe you'd be promoted. <laughs> We're free. <laughs> Hi, Scalabot. Thank you for the phone. Team a fake in-flight emergency to scare this I don't want that promotion. <laughs> New pull-up. Is spinning a good trick, yes or no? I mean, if you say no, you just felt blatantly wrong. Because, like, during the bell war, the loop, the loop is the most fun part about the flying. <laughs> One million points for team eject. <laughs> Yuri, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Oh my god. <laughs> Oops, guess you guys. <laughs> I got the, the special one million point for teams. So I'm <laughs> taking the parachute down. <laughs> right above enemy ground. <laughs> Coleman. Thank you for the bone. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> My Beyblade in the skies. <laughs> well done, Spyro. Keep up the good work, and hey, I Coleman. know you'll fulfill your destiny. Destiny? destiny. I just want to kick some. Just toast those <laughs> enemies and collect the treasure. They didn't let him say but. <laughs> they didn't let him say but. Wait, was that Mr. Krabs? Was it? I'm bad with voice actors, so you guys will have to say so. Somebody else mentioned Mr. Krabs earlier, so it might be. <laughs> Let's buy <Spyro> say ass. <laughs> we can make this. Yeah. Sound like Mr. Krabs? I mean, somebody look up the, the voice actors in that case. Who knows? It is Fancy Bound. There you go. I'm very bad with, like, recognizing voice actors. <laughs> So I wouldn't have known. Yeah, we kept the key. Perfect. Do, 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 do. Is that all of them? Huh? Hey, we got it. Dopey A cash. Mm -hmm. He's also Dr. Wait, he's Dr. Cortex too? Now that I did not know. Huh. Man, somebody just must have drawn the fan art with Mr. Krabs then. Like that must be out there somewhere. I imagine. Here we go. Ah, uh, Spyro Crash is... That's so cool. <laughs> I did not know that. I did not know that. Here we go. I was very active in PS1 games at the time. Oh, also Uka Uka? Wow, he was like everybody was cool. <laughs> uh, Tom Kenny uh, from 2 Bats known for Spongebob. Oh. 
So like from the second game forward, Spyro is SpongeBob? Ah, uh, I had no idea. I did not know. Mm hmm. Damn. Damn. For the most part. Huh. Silly sponge. You know, in Dutch they actually call him SpongeBob too. They don't call him SpongeBob or Fikant. <laughs> I know they changed the name for like German and French, I think. <laughs> but not for Dutch, it's the same. <laughs> okay, I think we properly got every stage here. Okay. Vertex was forced by Clancy Brown up until Crash and Sanity when he was replaced by Lex Lan. I see, I see. And then in... Oh, right, right, right. I know the photo voice is like... Uh... That's like... The games that came after the original trilogy, right? That's when Legend starts, no? I vaguely remember... Elijah Wood being Spyro because there was like a lot of hubbub about it online. <laughs> Germany is sponsored with Swampkopf. Swampkopf. Sounds like an insult. <laughs> you Swampkopf. <laughs> Speaking of Spongebob, pizza has Spongebob teen stuff and it's pretty decent. Ooh, wait, what's on the pizza? Sponge. Don't put sponge on the pizza. Someone, it got Gary Oldman. Yup, <laughs> I guess that's the budget. Can't believe how fast she found so much thrown treasure. Hop aboard for the Magic Crafters World if you are ready. Let's go. Oh yeah, thank you for the bone. Thank you, thank you. There we go. Okay. This one's nice. I always... I always like this one. I was about to say I like this water because it's pretty, but it's still very stinky. <laughs> yeah, you just hop on the head, right? I get that. Thank you for the bun. Wait, I already said hi. But thank you for the bun. <laughs> Pineapple sweet chili sauce, honey bam beef, and mozzarella. Oh, honestly, that does sound kind of nice. I'll try it. Like messing around in this hot world. Mm, this one's so pretty. Like, this is one of my favorite hot worlds, like design wise. Because it has the pretty water. <laughs> Welcome to Magic Crafters. I want you to release the dragons, reclaim our treasure, and recover the eggs from those pesky blue thieves. Uh huh. Will do. God, that's how that sounds like has never left my mind. Like, is eternal. It will always be <laughs> in my dreams. <laughs> It's me on the Dream Weaver 1. The Dream Weaver 1 is really nice too, yeah? You have to kill all of these guys at least once. Here we go. This fucker has the ability to roll ours. Couldn't be me. <laughs> Literally. Okay, hold on before we go there. Let's go catch this guy. My egg! Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. Uh, I forgot how we get up there. Oh, it's like somewhere where we loop around. Oh. Man stole my egg. Like, or we got him before he gets up there? I forget. Execute that man. <laughs> Sent him to the executor. <laughs> Actually, I think I mentioned before, my mom plays Pokemon Go. And like, there was like this... Uh, at one of the places we went to, there was this really thick palm tree. And she pointed at it, and I was like... Executor. I was like... Executor? <laughs> I was like, oh, Executor! <laughs> or like, she was like, execute him or whatever. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> she meant the tree? <laughs> I think we can just barely get him before he gets up there, if I'm fast enough. Hold on. Mama Bunk waves the violence, yep. <laughs> As it turns out. Oh, I 
nearly had it. You just have to let go of the dash button before you do the fire. I think you can also get them up there, but I forget how you get up there. Oh, so close. I missed it again. I missed it up. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. The wrong angle. Just barely the wrong angle. Okay, okay. Nah, 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 nah. Hate these guys. Greatest <laughs> video game villain of all time, but we got him this time. <laughs> got him on the way up, but that is fine. <laughs> it counts for the egg. <laughs> I work with uh, banners like Avadon and I questioned why we suddenly talked about great evils. <laughs> oh right, I forgot like the, the magicians. Yes, yes, yes. They love casting spells. They keep they raise us. Raise us up. <laughs> And laugh at me, taunt me. <laughs> Stinky wizards. There we go. Hey, those exes as a kid, I'd squirk about them, imagine it as blue, so I was eating them instead. That's brutal. Shadow wizard, Monica. No wizards allowed. <laughs> Sometimes if you pick them up, I'd be on the same platform as Smithish. I think so, yeah. If you go like fast enough, you can get them. We love casting spells. <laughs> Thank you for the clip. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I could have killed them there, but I missed them. I try that again. You can get them. Wait. Yeah, take that. Take that. I think you can just go and cast a spell. Okay, I think for that one we do have to take the long way around. <laughs> Just wait one day. I will cast spells. And then it's gonna be all over for these guys. Oh. It's always funny, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, everything about this game just loses so much charm. It's just... I love Spyro so much, you guys. <laughs> it's very nostalgic. Here we go. Did you play the Edgy Spyros? I never played any of the Legacy Spyros, only the original trilogy. Though I never played the second one, I think. I played the one with the eggs. I never played with those. So that one will be new to me. Here we go. Sheep. Sheep. Aha! That's what you get for casting spells. I think it was Master Crabs that had a level with giant metal spires in it. Give me was terrified of them. Oh no! Was I like... I didn't think anything in Spyro particularly got me back in the day. I think I just got like frustrated in some of the like gliding levels. Eggs, you have the dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one I, I played the most actually. Fought with Spyro was the Skylanders. I felt betrayed. That's fair, that's fair. You know, I when tried playing some Skylanders. Like these, like you can charge along with them to begin a supercharge. 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 Excellent. Go ahead. Try it. Mm -hmm. Are you guys ready to get supercharged? Jesse, thank you for the bone. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. I missed the wizard. <laughs> no, no, no. Thank you. Crystal fly. <laughs> like the dragons in the little nubby stuffs. Me too. <laughs> Play Geo of the Dragon so much, that's good boarding, yeah! I love actives. <laughs> Only play two of the PS2 Spyros, stop the series after them, that's fair, that's fair. Which version did I play? Um, so I played the first game um, at like, not one of my cousins, but like distant cousin places. And then I played the third game was the one I owned. I also owned the first game, I think. But I think I like lent it to a friend and I never gave it back. Because when I checked back in the Netherlands and I asked my mom, we couldn't find it. So, yeah. 
<laughs> so much for the first one. Yeah, classic landed to a friend and they don't return it to you. I think everybody's been there before. <laughs> you know. The thing is, at least Spyro is not a very expensive game to replace. At least it's a game you can find. Like the one that I'm eternally bitter about is like, I remember you, <laughs> Felix from <laughs> elementary school. I lent you my Pokemon CD and you never gave it back. <laughs> That's right. I have not forgotten. <laughs> Such a dick's name. Yeah, I, honestly, I'm not actually sure if he was called Felix, but it was something like that. <laughs> I think it was Felix. I was like, I think 10 or 11 when I <laughs> lent that one out. And then we moved to a different town. And, you know, obviously never got it back after that. So, yeah. <laughs> Fuck Felix. <laughs> I hated these levels. Yeah, I think these levels were generally disliked. I'm neutral on them. I'm fine with them for the most part. <laughs> it's going to create a crutch. <laughs> so relatable. <laughs> but imagine if he was watching the stream right now. Is it ringing a bell? You remember when, when you bored me my Dutch anime Pokemon Karaoke Mon CD? The one that you can basically not find anywhere on sale anymore? <laughs> Like, um, yeah, no, basically, the thing is with that one CD, I tried replacing it later in life. Um, because, like, uh, the Netherlands, actually, the Dutch dub of Pokemon, um, overdubbed, like, some of the Pokemon karaoke mon songs. And some of them were quite fun. And they had, like, the full versions and all that kind of stuff on the CD. Um, so, like, at some point, I started looking them up. And it turns out that a lot of them aren't actually online. Um, or, like, even kind of hard to find on YouTube and stuff. So I was like, okay, well in that case, if I want to listen to them again, like in full, I should buy the CD. And like, it's like the CD is practically lost media. I can't find it anywhere, like on real sale, like we sell. Like people sell the ones that like are the movie CDs and stuff. But the one specific one um, that I had is really hard to find. So it makes me all the more bitter that like the one kit that like bought it for me never returned <laughs> Because that CD is like legitimately a nightmare to find. Like I had to time that like, okay, I'll just buy the CD and I'll like upload all of them like on YouTube. So like other people don't run into the same issues I did if they want to listen to like childhood nostalgia again. And like, turns out, apparently that CD is rare. <laughs> because not enough Dutch people are buying, selling, um, storing the CD. <laughs> Pretty good at them. Yeah, I just messed up though. I'm gonna have to redo it. Posted on Media Mickey. I might have to check into it. It has been a few years since I last checked. So it might be that like somebody else has like found it and uploaded it at this point. I was the one who crashed your skin. <laughs> so you suffer glitches and like, no. Oh. That was the other thing though. Because like I always took really good care of my games. Like no crashes, basically pristine condition. Lending it to someone and then it comes back like looking shitty. I'm like... How did you do to my game? <laughs> it's a hard uh, downright turn. Mm. I mean, the thing is, like, the chests do loop around. Like, it doesn't really matter if I miss the first one, I think. Um, because I think it goes full circle. But I missed one in between, which is why it was basically all over. <laughs> but yeah, no. Like, I'm sure there's, like, other stuff that I borrowed to friends and never got back. But that one CD is the only one I'm bitter about. Only because I never managed to replace it. <laughs> okay. Ah, I missed the first one. Dang it. Let my juice it original control to a kid. was in perfect condition next week. This dog ate the cable, man. Like, do you want the game not to hurt? Exactly, exactly. Or, like, I never got how people managed to get their Pokemon cards, like, all just messed up and scratched up. Like, back when Pokemon cards were, like, a thing on the trading, the trading, you know, trading in the playground and stuff. Um, though, actually, no, I do know why. 
a lot of the Dutch kids had like fucked up Pokemon cards, but that's because they played with them like they were marbles. Like I, that's just Dutch insanity, which I, I imagine most other countries didn't share. <laughs> but even the ones that didn't play with them like that often had like messed up cards, and I don't get how you get them in that state. What? Yeah, that's a good question. Have you guys ever played war marbles? <laughs> <laughs> like, I guess that's the first question. Um, do you guys know how to play with marbles or like popular marble games? Um, yeah, marbles, IOL, not, not online. Um, so popular marble games include getting the marble into the hall, um, bouncing the marble off the wall and like um, the winner who gets it close to the wall, like wins, often you gamble your marbles. Um, like, winner takes the pot, so everybody who joined in, uh, you know, puts in the marble and you can, like, win them. Um, but yeah, so imagine all of those games, except you do them with Pokemon cards. Because you're a Dutch kid in elementary school, and this is the only way you know how to gamble your toys. <laughs> what I'm saying is Dutch kids were throwing cards against the wall. <laughs> Um, Ig knows what I'm talking about. Yep, you throw the cards to the wall and whoever lands closest gets both. Yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, you also have marbles uh, like bowling. We did that one too. <laughs> um, didn't they do a marble game in the script game? They did. That's, in that one, I think they get to decide how they want to play. That's also how Dutch people played with flippos. Uh, I guess in other countries they're called tazos. <laughs> oh, it wasn't windy in the Netherlands? Nah, you get it in the corner of the... First of all, you need to get a wall. So you're usually doing it up next to the school building. Oh, uh, and that's how you do it. <laughs> Was usually popular here? Yeah, no, Flippos were huge in the Netherlands too. Or Tazos as they may be. <laughs> Taking me in the Netherlands like now. This to a special place where you can learn to fly. I remember when I was a young dragon, earning my wings. Learn to fly. Got it. Learn to fly. On a giant pack of flippos doing that, and the next day everyone stopped caring about flippos. See, Lancel, you learned a, a lesson about monopolies. <laughs> when you had all the flippos, nobody else got them. I'm sorry, I'm joking. <laughs> I think Tassos were also wept about uh, Beyblades later. Mm. I mean, I think, like, uh, in my case, like, uh, the flippos in my school never went out of popularity. I think, like, Pokemon cards like surpassed them for a while, but then people just played with them as if they were flippos. Uh, I had a decent amount because like um, you could get them in like bags of chips and stuff. And my babysitter at the time um, was a janitor at a different school, and she would sell bags of chips from like the big multi packs, and she just gave all the flippos to me. So I always had like good stuff to trade, <laughs> often in prime condition too, as it turns out. I also never really like participated in like marbling my Pokemon cards, which meant that my Pokemon cards actually wound up being in much better condition, <laughs> which meant that I could actually um, trade up value with like my Pokemon doubles would be worth like five scuffed up cards that have been thrown against the wall, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so in the end, um, it made completing my collection a lot easier. You go and baby to fetch strong faves. Mm, Yu-Gi-Oh got really big at some point too. Then I could shake them from being the top three. Mm, I get you, I get you, I think. Yeah, it was Pokemon cards for a while. Yu-Gi-Oh got big, Beyblade got big. Other than that, like I don't think like there was marbles, there was flippos. There were like no other really big hypes, I think. Oh, I guess like Scooby-Doo bracelets? Which are unrelated to the cartoon characters. It's like the ones that you are supposed to like weave yourself. Uh, those got pretty big for a while too. Uh, I'm not sure if they were popular outside. Oh, Furbies were pretty big, but not on the school ground, just as a toy in general. Um, I'm not sure if like Scooby Doo's were like much of a trend outside of Europe. Oh, and there was like I guess there was this thing like Diddle Paper, which was like a mouse. But I never got into that. I thought it was kind of stupid. <laughs> my cousins really liked that one though, but <laughs> not my thing. Pogo sticks were a big thing too. That's fair. Like there were pogo sticks, but like I knew very few people had them. But our elementary school did have them as an option in like the play 
the toys that were available, generally speaking, if I recall. Remember Beanie Babies being a really big in the 90s? Beanie Babies didn't really kick off that much, at least not at our school. Like, I don't remember people cared much for them. That I recall. No, Pokemon supplanted them for us. <laughs> <laughs> Remember Pokesticks being rare, were they? Like, to be fair, I just... Our school was, like, pretty well supplied with, like, various toys that we could, like, uh, use during, like, playtime. So we just used whatever there was. There were all of different collectibles. True, true, true. <laughs> I feel Beanie Babies was, like, actually less for kids and, like, more for speculative buyers. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, adult investors. <laughs> Rather than for what was on the playgrounds. What a scooter? Ah, that's the, the one that you have to like, um, use like your foot to like uh, drive forward, right? Um, because in Dutch we call them a step. And like once I talked about steps in English and people were like, what the fuck is a step? And I was like, I think it's a scooter <laughs> in English. <laughs> I did, I love my step. <laughs> I remember Tamagotchi having to be banned. Yeah, Tamagotchis, I like steps. Scooters are motorized. Yeah, in Dutch, uh, a scooter is basically like a shittier motorbike. Like a, a weaker motorbike is what we call a scooter. Which is why scooter confused me so much when people ask me if I had a scooter as a kid. Like, no, you're, you're, you're not... You, you can't. You have to be 16, I think. <laughs> which is why it's very confusing. But yeah, no, no. Um, they are actually quite popular. Scooter in Dutch, yeah, it's moped. Mm -hmm. It's very confusing. <laughs> uh, all about the sports and stuff. Mm -hmm. Me too. Oh, this is a big spider. I forget how he beat them. Um, that's not like... Uh, yeah, like, those were so popular in the Netherlands. There's like a song about them. <laughs> Up my step, up my step, ik ben zo blij dat ik hem heb. Do, 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 do. Waar ga je dan naartoe? Misschien naar permanent, ik weet alleen niet hoe. <laughs> it's just about a boy who is on, on his scooter and he's, he's going places. <laughs> Doesn't know where, he keeps just like asking people like, um... Do you know the way to Permarent? Which is like a place in the Netherlands. And they were like, oh, uh, yeah, okay, go that way. And then eventually, I think somebody um, drags them along, like behind the car, <laughs> to like make the trip easier. <laughs> and so it scared me half to death. Oh no! <laughs> I mean, they are pretty big. Like, I can't remember how you beat them. Can you even beat them? Was Permarent only choose because the name is Fabni? I think so, actually. Because honestly, you can ask me if I know where Permanent is. And honest to god, I have no idea. <laughs> like, I think it's actually quite a small village. <laughs> I've never been. Um, I, it's just like a funny village name to sing, I think. <laughs> there are no mentors that were popular in the 2000s. My mom won a contest. Like, oh, no, no. Um, the scooters you're thinking about is Step in Dutch. But scooter in Dutch is a moped, which is where the confusion from uh, <laughs> comes from. When I say Step, all the steps are non-motorized as well. <laughs> it, it gets very confusing. Hi, Samar. Hi, hi, hi. The supercharge in the one level you can. Bit finicky to aim and hit them, though. No. Mm, okay, okay, okay. Then I won't waste time trying to defeat them. <laughs> <laughs> go. The song itself comes from Yasu's Tune Sister, which is like, uh, if I recall, which is like a Dutch, like, I think they were like from the 80s or 70s. Um, they did like a lot of kids' songs, um, but my mom really liked them, so like when I was a kid, I went to like Yasu's Tune Sister Choir. <laughs> <laughs> so I learned a lot of them. They might drop gems. Uh, let's see. It's an ancient sitcom, basically, basically. And they had like a lot of songs they bought. Like honestly, a lot of people don't really know the sitcom anymore, but they do know the songs because they release like CDs so much. And sometimes they were on the radio for a while. Green druids, they insist on moving everything in sight. Here we go. <laughs> like honestly, if you guys are curious. Like, because it is a very a vibe, huh? Because, like, a lot of the songs, they're, like, very classic, too, which is kind of, like, funky in its own way. 
Oh, it's from the 60s. Yeah, it's still in black and white, uh, like most of the footage. The thing is with, like, I think Yas is the Nay sister, is that a lot of the episodes were lost um, because, like, the storage that had them burned down, if I recall vaguely. So, like, not all of it was saved, I think. Uh, let me... Like, some of it was saved, but I don't think all of it is still around. But I might be making this up. <laughs> Yeah, I did get a colorized version. Mm -hmm. Used to play Spyro the free arcade at the supermarket when I was 2 and 3. Hell yeah! <laughs> Hold on, I've got the st steps on. Uh -huh. Here we go. Yeah, oh my god, yeah, it's from <laughs> 1967. <1970s>, uh, <laughs> very, very old song. I'll pull it out real quick. Here we go. Oh. One second, just a little loud. <laughs> uh, one second, one second. Turning it down a bit. <laughs> uh, and then giving you this one. Okay, and then making sure you guys can see it. I want it. Okay, doing it, you know, it is a good song, it is a good... I mean, I like the, the very old Jazz is the Nasus, the Dutch songs. <laughs> Some Dutch songs are weird, is what I'm saying, I guess. <laughs> yeah, the Disney version, basically. Uh, Wishni, na Wishni. On Wishni, na Wishni, Novka. They actually have a very similar vibe to the song, to be quite honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I got a little bit off track there, but we should unfortunately wrap up a little bit now because I do have my singing lessons tonight still. <laughs> and Sano Comedian does a song prepared for the most outfit critics you've ever heard. Yeah, that's um that's how things go sometimes, like especially with the older ones in the Netherlands. <laughs> it's you know, I'd like to say it doesn't translate well, but they're weird songs to begin with. <laughs> um let me find somebody to wait into real quick. Uh, see who is online. And we'll play some uh, more Spyro. I'll tell you guys once I know a little bit better what I know or do or plan. Um, it's still a little bit wishy-washy, but tomorrow I'll be playing uh, Mega Man Zero at the very least. No, no, about three different songs. The Christmas dinner. <laughs> The wolves and the not even my wolves. Those are the only three songs you need to know. <laughs> um, I actually recommend like looking up uh, Yasus the sister because they do actually have some really nice. If you like more old timey music, like I quite enjoy them. <laughs> but children being left by the parents, they end up starving and eating mushrooms. So no. Um, I saw a birthday. Um, when I was checking. Um, so maybe we can go there or. Um, oh, wait, but I is also online, and we can also wait into uh, Pixie again. She was very fun yesterday as well. Um, uh, yeah, Kiri is doing a birthday today, so let's go into Kiri, because she's having a special event. We've waited her a few times before. Jinx, thank you for the boat. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, either way, thank you all so much for coming today. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got like wildly off topic near the end. <laughs> I hope you guys had a good time though. Thank you all for coming to all the lurkers. Thank you for lurking. And if you're watching the vlog, thank you for watching. I will be back tomorrow. Um, have a good rest of your day. If you're going to bed, have sweet bunny dreams. And if not, then um, enjoy the rest of your day. I believe in you, whatever you're working on. And I'll see you all next time. Um, bye 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 bye. Uh, bye bye.